Oh yeah, here we are. We are back, guys, and we are. <laughs> we have New Zealand finally. We have it. So uh, let's select reserve and uh, see what happens. How you going, Nanya? Hope you're having a good day, mate. It's my first uh, time I've been here, so this is it. We've been waiting a while. Well, if <laughs> if you're an undesirable like me, you've been waiting a while. Oh, look at that. Something's going on. I don't know what's going on, game. Please, do not do anything crazy. Alright, is so it supposed to do this? We've fallen down from the sky. Ah, uh, here we go. It's moving. Alright, so it'll probably be a mission. Go open the outpost or whatever they do in these things. Kia ora. No mai hare mai ki Aotearoa. Welcome to New Zealand and to Te Awaroa National Park. This little slice of paradise is teeming with creatures big and small and more adventures than you'll find on any movie screen or storybook. Now I've lived out here in the Wop Wops all my life and never wanted for anything else. In fact, it's practically in my blood. This place and my family go way back. Things have been a little tricky lately, though. It's fast becoming somewhere I don't recognize anymore and I don't like it. That's why I dragged you out here, Ehoa. With your help, we're going to wean ourselves off outside money and make the Awaroa model for sustainability the entire South Island can get behind. All right. Well, here we are. We're going to land on the road by the looks of it. Hang on, Magic Turtle. All right, that was a bit of an entrance. All right, so give me a look here. There should be an outpost. Right, no. let's get moving. Um, Glad to see you've arrived in one piece. I plan to. Josh is my nephew. He just got his license. And I swear that kid spends more time with his hands on the radio dials than on the steering wheel. I hope he didn't talk your ear off. I've had to rely on him a lot lately since my legs started acting up again. Okay. I was planning to head out and meet you today, but here I am at home, propped up on five kinds of pillows. Ah, doctor's orders. Anyway, that's enough chit chat from me. It is. Go get away. over to the outpost marked on your hunter mate and let's get you started. Uh, there's an outpost on my hunter mate. Where is it? Ah, oh, here. All right, I'm going the wrong way. So, uh, it's place I hope you had there. a chance to spend some quality time on your own before I rang you up. Yeah. Awesome your mate, way. Alejandra, said the two of you were here on holiday? She had nothing but praise for you, by the way. Said you almost single-handedly turned things around for her in Cuatro Colinas. Well, naturally, I have pretty high expectations, but let's take our time getting to know each other first. Ah, oh, you got a spirit bear. That's pretty cool. I'll admit that it wasn't just her recounting your heroic antics that made me pick up the phone. She said you were, and I quote, stoic, practical, and probably born out in the bush somewhere. Just what I was looking for, in other words. Ah, oh, beautiful. How's the stream looking, guys? So I've been mucking around with my settings today. Is it in 1080p and 60fps? I'm hoping it is. I've been trying to make it look better and better, so I've got to find a sweet spot. So we had a little test today, it seemed to be going alright. So we've got to find this outpost, which is just ahead of us. Then I'll have to, is there any new callers I should know about? Like I know we need the red deer caller. And uh, you can't call the goats, probably. You know what a track is? Pig caller. Evidence you're not alone out there. Alright, yeah I know Humbling, that. Eh? Alright, and turkey caller. I don't know about the sicker deer, if you can call them. Or any of the other animals, so we'll find out. So yeah, my first time here. It looks good, thank you. Oh, that goats, look. They're on the run, they have heard me. So I'll let them little buggers run off. I just want to get to the outpost first. And then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, probably grab the new weapon, the 303. And, uh, what is that calling? Fellow deer. Ah, oh, fellow deer caller. So I need that as well. 
I don't know what guns do I have in here. Shotgun. Oh, I got the M1. I think we can shoot a fella D with the M1, can't we? So far, so good. It's looking pretty good. This map, actually. So yeah, we'll get to the outpost, which is just over there. All these new names that I won't be able to pronounce. You know what I'm like. <laughs> oh man, look at them all over there. That one looks like it's got not bad handlebars on it. Uh, we'll pick that up. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to shoot it with the M1, the feral goat. We will find out. But I'll probably bring the uh, Mose in as well. So we'll see what level this animal is. What is that over there? Uh, it's like a circus or something. So let's find that goat I shot. I shouldn't have took my eyes off of it. Should be just up ahead here anyway. And we'll get to the outpost. Grab all the things I need. I'm not really going to be doing missions. We're just going to hunt. Um, I saw some of my friends doing the missions last night on Discord. I'm more interested in uh, doing hunting at the moment than missions. Let's pick up this little fella. We'll have a little look at it. Uh, it's probably a bronze or silver. Or I've, if I've used the wrong gun, I have ruined it. Um, did I use the right gun? No, improper ammo. So it probably would have been a uh, silver, but we turned it into a bronze. Not a problem. And it's a dark brown. So that's where the Mosin will come in handy. What is that? There's another one there, look. Oh, no, it's a uh, smelt me. Alright, cool. Red deer, feral goat, feral pig, sick of deer, fellow deer, rabbits, turkeys, and am I missing anything? Probably something I'm missing. It does have a few animals on it, so. Cool. It looks pretty good, though. That looks okay. Apparently, it's pretty big, so that's always good. I'm just hoping we get tons of animals like SR Pain away, like a lot of animals. Alright, that is a... Feral goats have made themselves a little bit too at home here, if you ask me. Okay, I'll shoot them. Their favourite food is native vegetation. Well, luckily for you, they're slower to flee than deer, if you can reach them. Yeah, not about it, lady. I already shot one. Alright, please... Not far now. Oh no, please... We built these outposts in the early 90s. They've got the works, repurposed materials, solar roofs, rainwater tanks. All that right. was back when people used to just call you a hippie. Now everything's sustainable, clean, green, eco-friendly. Hippies? Ha! <laughs> Tried trailblazers. If you said hippies, it's not like and good for the environment doesn't have to mean bad for your back. All right, there's our it's mission. It's pretty cozy inside. Go on, All take right. a look. Oh well, relax. So first mission done is open the outpost. Here's the map. Right there, and we've got a photo there. Notice the filming resplendent sword. Okay, so we'll see making a movie here or something. Is that any door will do? Any door opens? Whoa! <laughs> see, we got company. That'll be Josh is doing the brat. I told him to leave things be, but I guess he couldn't resist. Anyway, maybe it's just as well you get used to it. I'll fill you in later. Right, mate? See that camera on the table? No. Strap it to your chest and let me explain what exactly you're here for. What table? There's a lookout tower not far away, so you can head up there and get a sense of the place while I flap my gums. I can't even get to the table. Oh, there we go. Nice and tight now. Wouldn't want it coming off right when you've got a shot lined up. What's in the fridge? Any beers? I am Australian, you know. <laughs> Any VB. Alright, so there's the beds, so... The time's pretty early, I think. What is the time in game? Uh, eight o'clock, that's okay. So where do I grab me gear, lady? Where's the shed? Out the back. Here's the toilet, always important. Oh, it doesn't open, man. We're just gonna have to go in the bush. 
Is this? Oh, here we are. <laughs> the locker. This is what I'm at. Please work, locker. What are you, what are you doing, man? Oh, my God. Is there any special way I'm supposed to open this? I don't, what is going on? What can I, um... How am I supposed to get weapons out? Is that the locker? It looks like the locker. Hey, how you going, Ben? So I want to get the guns and stuff and, uh... The locker wasn't in here, was it? We've got an oven, big dude, kitchen beds. Why aren't this thing open, man? Hello! I need to get the new guns and some callers and uh, what the frig is going on, mate? Oh my god. So I got the, <laughs> look at that, I got the, the big bison gun, which I don't need here. How, how does this open? Is it, is it broken? Damn, that's, uh, that's crazy, man. Oh, I'm not supposed to open it yet. That's my hunter mate, so. Visit the nearby lookout tower. We even bring an axe and throw it at the goats. Just try this locker one more time. Uh, that's not happening. That's nothing. Oh, damn. I really... Okay. Uh, well, we're going to go to the nearby lookout tower, which is... Oh, way over there. I'd grab an ATV, but I can't. Okay. So, let's put a waypoint here. That's bad that I can't get in the locker. And it's 1.24 k's away. So I don't, I don't think I'm missing anything here. We've got a toilet, water tank. All right, let's go. I'm not sure how, how, why isn't the locker working? Because I really need to change the weapons that I got. Because, uh,. Unless I'm shooting red deer, um, I'm going to be using the wrong ammo for most of them. That's uh, pretty bad, man. I hope you're all having a good day. We're on the cusp of the weekend here. It is Friday in Australia. Or Friday afternoon now. Man, it's a bummer. I don't know why that doesn't uh, happen. Why won't the locker open? Alright, so we'll run to the this and try and get another outpost and open that up and see if that locker works. Like, um, is this a common... My friends didn't have this problem. Looks nice out of the map, doesn't it? The land of the long white cloud. I don't know where the long white cloud is, but it's got to be around somewhere. See, if I had been able to get into that, would have pulled out the ATV and just rode. I don't have a tent on me, so I'm stuffed there. So I might have a problem with my um, game files. Which is no good. I can um, re-update them. I only take a few minutes if we can't get another locker open. But not the start I really wanted to uh, a, a new map. I did claim the out oh, I claimed the outpost. I didn't claim it really. Was there a flag there? Damn! I should know you got to claim the outpost. Oh, then I can open the locker. Got ya, got ya. Well, I opened it, and then she said, "Go look at the lookout." This woman talking is confusing me. Is there a flagpole? I don't even notice one. Let's go back. Climb the outpost. That's a good uh, good suggestion. 
Oh my god, I feel stupid now. I like the sounds, the bird sounds sound pretty good. Actually sounds a little bit like Australia. Alright, let's see if this uh, makes a difference. Claim the outpost. Very, very smart of you. <laughs> Just, I haven't claimed it, you're exactly right. Then I'll be able to open the locker, grab all the stuff. It'll be awesome. Just want to try out the new gun. I want to get the Mosin. I want to get rid of the the 300 that I have on me. And uh, probably check out the... Is there a Sikadi caller? Does anyone know? Or a, can you call the Shammy? Or, yeah, I'm not really sure what you can call in and what you can't. So let's find the flagpole that I've obviously... Ignored or missed, and uh, claim the outpost. Very good idea. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a flagpole. Damn it, it's right there. Come on, man. What am I doing? Eh? Not paying attention. Alright, this will be the. This is what we need. Claim the outpost. Thank you very much. Is that a New Zealand flag? What is that? It's not a New Zealand flag. It's a... Uh, probably the National Park flag. Alright, now the locker should work. Beautiful. There's a full can of drink there. Oh, thank you. Alright, storage. Don't need the canning, don't need the rhino. I don't know if I need the miller. Maybe for um, turkey. Uh, let's go to the store and check out where will the new gun be? Right down the bottom. There it is. It's a Sporter 303. Uh, there's one that's locked. And I think you have to do the missions to unlock the skin, which I said I'm not really going to do the missions today. I'm not really that interested. And then we have a Border, which is grey. So we'll get this one. It looks pretty interesting. I like that. We'll buy that. Yes, we'll buy it. Thank you. And uh, we need ammo for it. So 303 ammo, would it be? There it is. 303 British polymer tip. So I'm going to buy some of these. I don't know. About 100, what do you reckon? 150, something like that should do. Alright, so let's pump all that in. There's 110. I'll go 160 just for good luck. Alright, now back to storage. So let's find this border. There it is. Tarnish wood. And just pull the bullets across first, and I'll figure out what else I need. So I don't need them, I don't need them, don't need them. Uh, I don't need 454s. Alright, there we go, 303. The British mate. Alright, now I said I'll probably bring the Mosin, right? So, let me find that here, yeah, oh, have I gone past it? Uh, here we are. A solar can Mosin. So assembly line. We'll whack that there. And I might actually bring the 22 pistol for close up turkeys and rabbits. In case we come across any. Here we go. Beautiful. Now let's see what I have here. Let's sort this out. Alright, so pistol's gonna go first. Got the shotgun. Move you down. Let's uh, get rid of these for a moment. Antler rat, or I'll need buck snort. What do you call? Alright, sick of deer. So that calls sick of deer. So I'll put that there. I wanna put the binoculars there. And I'm gonna. What other gun did we have? Sorry. Ah, oh, the solar gun. There we go. An M1 there, and then we'll put our sporter 
right there. All right, let's get it all happening, man. 22 for you. Uh, shotgun, we're going to need birdshot. Did I bring any? We did. A birdshot. And Solican, do I have any of that ammo? No, I have to find that. 306 for the M1. Oh, where is the M1? What have I done with that? Oh, there it is. We've got 217 bullets in it. The British. 303. Oh, there it is there. Sorry. Let me, let me take my time. Alright, and I'm gonna need some sights. Hyper Iron for everyone. Or Hyperion. However you like to say it. Alright, so we've got the Antler Rattler. Buck Snort, that's sit your deer. I'm gonna need Red Deer Caller. Wild Boar, because there is pigs here. Um, we're gonna go back to here and pull out a Red Deer Caller. Man, I wish they'd have a better UI in this thing, but I will live. Alright, oh, red deer, red deer. Here we are, red deer. I don't need you. Oh, turkey man. Just in case a couple of turkeys fly out. So they just call road deer, you don't call anything else. Cody, there's no predators on here, no moose, no elk. No deers to call with this. Oh, we can call the sicker deer with this as well. With the deer grunt. So I'll put that there in case. Uh, looks like about it, I think. I think we're good. Let's check the weapons. Uh, got our little pistol. Shotty. Uh, you have no bullets. So you're the Mosin. Oh, damn. Let's go back up. I thought I had some of them with me. Obviously, I don't. So, I'm not going to need slug. Uh, really buckshot there in case. So, I need bullets for this. There we go. So, back to here. Ammo. Alright, everyone's got bullets now. That is good. I think we're sweet. And we've got a ton of lures in case we need them. I'm going to bring the ATV. Just to ride to that um, outpost. Oh no, we'll use that black friend. And there it is. Let's go. Beautiful. Oh, I have to turn this down. This is so loud, this thing. That AL will drive me nuts. Turn it up once we get off the ATV. Guess we've got one, two, four case to go. Hey, on, Imogen. We are New Zealand here. Your hometown. Seems like a pretty, you know, pretty map at the moment. I just got to remember to pop open outposts. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I was wondering why the the gun cabinet wouldn't work. Alright, so we've got all the guns to cover all the animals. I think we've got every caller we need. Um, yeah, should be a cool hunt. Let's open this uh, lookout. Or outlook, or whatever I want to call them. And we'll get on with the hunt after that. Oh, there goes... Was that a pig? Or a goat? Might have been a feral goat. Ugh, footprints. Look. So I want to get some of the pigs in this game as well. They look really cool. Ah, it's feral goat. We really shot one of those. With the wrong gun. But stuff happens. Uh, can we go across land? Without dying and blowing up the ATV. Should be cool. Oh, there goes something else running. That's another goat, look at it. Oh, I've hit a tree stump. They're not very fast, the goats, like she said. They don't run as fast as a deer. So they keep up from the ATV, look at that. Those two of them. 
Oh, we've, we've hit one. <laughs> one has crashed into us. They're everywhere. He said there was a lot of them. So, because they're feral, you're allowed to shoot the crap out of them, I suppose. In New Zealand. Probably don't even need a season for them. Sorry with the pigs. So, the plan. I want to turn this place into a year-round retreat for hunters like you and Aleandra. So I don't spend most of the year worrying about whether our native plants are going to get overrun by deer again. Look at There's that. a lot of filmmaking talent out here. And it hasn't been put to good use lately, if you ask me. So we're going to make a commercial? Show the world there's more to New Zealand than haka and halflings. Alright, so... Who better to demonstrate the thrill of the chase than an experienced hunter like yourself? Oh, uh, here we are. There's the lookout tower, just up ahead. Yeah, I'm here. See, our wood ore's prime was back in the 80s. Most of the other hunters out here are equally long of tooth. Check it out. We need someone young, new, dynamic. You. Ah, uh, let's get The in. camera will do most of the work, so you just have to make sure it's on when you head out to hunt. We have a couple of uh, strategic locations on our list to get through, but let's get you that view first. All right, let me just open stuff up, lady. Like I said, I probably might be doing the missions at the moment. I just want to hunt. Looks pretty cool though. What a what a look at that! It's like something out of uh, <laughs> Guild Wars Two or something. Let's have a look in here. We've got a microwave, sink. Um, it's like one of those things you look through or something. Oh, door <laughs> opens in. Just take that in. Spectacular, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. This eastern area is all rolling hills and conifers. There's a line of mountains in the centre of the reserve. Oh, and native beach forest. And a lot of rain on the other side. All right, let's uh, open. Yeah, I have the 303. Right, so remember Josh's little prank? Hello, Alexander. This place doesn't receive a lot of government funding, unfortunately. And a couple of years ago, we were running out of money for field research, and the outposts were in need of sprucing up. So I guess you could say we made a deal with the devil, the Hollywood devil, to be exact. Long story short, they've just wrapped up filming for the final movie they were contracted to do. Some fantasy thing, shiny blade or shimmering dagger or something. Now let me check. Ah, resplendent sword. I'll send you the blurb they gave me. Right. My nephew tells me it's a big deal, but I'd certainly never heard of it before this. All right, so but yeah, oh. as nice as it is that Te Awaro's beauty is up on the silver screen for all to see, it's come with its share of problems, to say the least. The bigwigs left in a hurry, and we got left with a bunch of basically intact movie sets scattered here and there all over the reserve. Well, I'm telling you all of this because Josh just rang me up and said that he spotted another set on his way back. Not far from where I wanted you to try filming your first hunt. All right, lady. Can I trouble you to go clear it out? Yeah, We is. can't run the risk of any of the props from the film featuring in our footage. Cheers. All right, look, I'm... Tricky little fella, eh? We should, we should go away if now. If at first you don't succeed and all that, you'll get the next one. All right, another outpost here. We'll open this up. And we'll check around this lake here. So find the flag, <laughs> claim it, there we go, claim the outpost. This one looks a little bit smaller than our first one, it's not as big. Have a little look at it while we're here. Uh, now I'll turn the sound up again, because I did turn it down because of the motorbike. So it does get pretty loud and it gets annoying. Uh, I've got an antlers here. Ah, oh, that's a pretty cool outpost. Now you got your beds there and uh, the helicopter. Ah, oh, I've seen that pot before. I've reused that. And we've got a picture of somewhere in New Zealand. Sick of deer, or I think that's what they are. I was going to say there's a picture there, but we're looking out the window. <laughs> I tricked myself. All right. Uh, we're going to start hunting now. We're just going to walk. I'm not going to ride the ATV for a bit. We're just going to have a walk around. We'll just look at the map. All right, so we've got... These are probably, um, you know... Oh, look, I'm going to go and do a mission there. 
These are probably our hunting stands. So I'm just going to wait and see if I hear animals call. I'm not really going to start calling anything at the moment. We'll look around the lake, see what we can see. And we'll take what we can get. Feral goat, pig, anything. We probably won't run into all the animals on this side. You probably, like you said, you have to go to the other side of the map to find different animals. Yeah, I have the 303. I've got the 22 pistol turkeys and rabbits. Shotgun. Um, the Mosin. That is the 303. And we've got the M1. So this one's the 303 here. I'm going to pop the scope off. And it's got a pretty solid iron sight on it. So we'll be using that a little bit. Because what is this, from 4 to 8? I imagine the goats you could shoot with the 303. And the fallow deer. Probably the sicker deer. And maybe even the pigs, I'd imagine. So we'll probably be able to shoot a few animals with this gun. I just bought the M1 in case we run into, uh, you know, red deer. As I really have no idea where the animals, you know, live on this on this uh, island yet. We already have seen feral goats. I shot one. One crashed into the ATV. So they seem to be around here. Now let me look at the map so I can plot a course. Alright, is that... Alright, so we're sort of at the edge of the map. So I reckon we want to walk maybe out this way. Just walk pretty, you know, just have a... Yeah, that's only two k's away. So I might walk around this side of the lake. And, uh, yeah, see what we can spot as we walk along. I didn't really watch anyone's streams um, who got it early. I hate um, seeing it through someone else's eyes sometimes until I can get my hands on it. I did watch a little bit of the Expansive World stream. Not too much, though. And, of course, I watched the adverts for this on YouTube. And they always, you know, they're going to show you just the fancy bits like the trebuchets and the movie set. You know, and the really big red deer and stuff. So I did check that out. Yeah, hopefully. I wouldn't mind seeing those pigs. They look pretty interesting. And a lot of uh, fur variations on them. Same with the goats. Alright, that's a tree in the middle of the lake. I think there is a mission you got to take a photograph of it. My mate was doing it yesterday. But uh, we're not up to that mission yet. And uh, yeah, we're not going to do it anyway. Because we didn't come here to do missions. Just came here to have a hunt. And see what we can find. A lot of fog. Sort of, or mist, I suppose you call it. Oh, look at that, look at that mist. I like these. These are, I don't know if these are a tree or a fern. We sort of have ferns like this in Australia. They're a bit different at the base. And if they were that tall, they'd be over 100 years old. Like, they're really slow growers. I don't know what what they are in New Zealand, if they're a tree, that thing's a tree or a fern. There's another one. Maybe they are a fern. They look pretty cool. Is that what the tree's called? Howdy, howdy. How would you compare the 308 versus the 3006? No idea yet. The 303? Yeah, I haven't shot it yet, mate. I've got it on me. Haven't uh, fired one shot out of it. 
Um, I really like the M1. I think it's a good gun. Or the, you know, 3006 sort of comparison was a good gun as well. But I haven't uh, used the 303 yet. I'm hoping it, it probably, hopefully it's a good gun. Hopefully it's got enough power for the animals, you know, level four to eight that you can shoot with it. Should be all right. Uh, back in the old days, even in Australia, all the hunters had a, you know, they had a lot of 303s. Because after the war, like in the war, Australians, I think it was, especially the First World War, they used the 303 rifle and of course after the war you have a surplus of ammunition and guns so the hunters sort of snapped them all up and they used to go out roo shooting and uh, stuff with the 303s apparently they used to be a pretty efficient gun you know and pretty uh, powerful because they had a pretty large bullet in them so you know I imagine they're going to be okay but like I said I haven't used it yet as soon as we see an animal, we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll try and uh, shoot the animal with the 303. See what it sounds like and uh, see how effective it is. So New Zealand, you know, that would have been the same. Because New Zealand and Australia, when they went to World War I, uh, they had a coalition called the Anzacs. Um, yeah, the Australian-New Zealand coalition type thing. So they all would have been using like 303s as their like infantry rifle. So New Zealand would have had a surplus of them too after the war. And that's why it's probably in the game now. Ah, a bit of history, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is a bit of history. We're going way back there, but yeah. That's why the 303 is in the game I imagine yeah this is a this is a really misty place Imogen comes from uh, New Zealand so she knows more about New Zealand than I do I've never even been there and I did watch uh, the Lord of the Rings <laughs> so <laughs> I've seen it on film Uh, hopefully we can find a hobbit or two and we'll put them out of their misery as well. And we'll find the precious. <laughs> yes, this is the new map. It's uh, We've just uh, entered it. We've opened up two outposts and a, a lookout. I'm not going to do the missions because I don't I don't want to do spoilers anyway for people who don't have it on console. So the only mission I've done was open the first outpost. And then you had to go to the first lookout and that's it. She wants me to go somewhere and do something and take photos of her camera. Well, you know, we're not doing it. We're just going to have a hunt. Because uh, you guys have to do your own missions and find out what they entail. I don't want to spoil anything for you. And if you're interested, I'm not that interested, uh, you know, to be honest, I'm not overly interested in the missions at this point. I just want to check the map out, walk around it, take it in, see what we find. And, you know, got to learn about a new map now and where the animals hang out. Like, I have no idea. All we've seen is feral goats. So, I'm hoping to see those feral pigs. As I started to watch the uh, stream they had where they can fly around with the expansive worlds, you know, they can move from one area to the other, but it, it crashed on them. And I think it crashed again, so I just thought, well, I'm not watching this stream if it's just going to keep crashing. So, yeah. So, it's better for me anyway. I don't really want to know a heap about the map before I step on the... Uh, a bit of mystery is okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, or yeah, well, console are going to have to wait. I don't know how long you guys have to wait. Hopefully it's not real long, but I think it's going to be probably January 2021. Maybe before you get your hands on it. Which is a bit of a, you know, it's not the best situation. 
So yeah, that's why I'm not going to do the missions anyway. We'll just have a hunt, you know, we'll have a look at the animals. And a good look at the map. Uh, one thing that does stand out, we have a lot of mist. A lot of mist on uh, this map. Which is good. That means there's no wind really at the moment. So, it'd only be a light wind if there's mist hanging around. But man, let's hopefully we'll run into some animals soon. Uh, here's something here. What is this? I can see a lot of bugs. Uh, it's a bug zapper there. Is this another outpost? If it is, we'll open it up while we're here. I just stumbled across this, so let's uh, open it up. And, spoiler alert, the toilets don't work. We cannot get in the toilet, so... Maybe when we open it up, maybe the toilet door will work. <coughs> Try now. Oh no, <laughs> can't go in the toilet. So all the outposts, except for the first one, looks a bit more uh, posh. But they all look pretty much the same as the last one we just opened. So we've got, we've got three outposts open now. It looks like there is a lot of, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of them. So we're only on this one part of the island. We're going to go over here, up on this hill, and see what we find up there. Got to be able to find something, eh? It's not a very loud map. You know, some maps are like, you know, sort of loud. This isn't a very loud map. It's pretty nice going around having a stroll. I'm hoping to hear those piggies, so we can, uh, oh, got a bit of rain, so we can, uh, try the 303 on them. And that's it there, that's the 303. I will pop a scope on it when I need to, but I just got the iron sights up. Look at that, it holds five, uh, five bullets. So that's pretty cool. I think it was 4,000 or 40,000. One or the other. <laughs> it was four something thousand. It could have been $4,000. I doubt it's 40,000, right? Or oh, maybe it was. I didn't pay too much attention. And the polymer tip bullets were like 800 bucks or 880 for 10. So that's the normal standard price for a polymer tip. But it could be good on the soft tip as well, you know, especially on some of the, like a goat with a softer skin. Soft tip bullets might be pretty cool. Just wondering, where are these animals? Hello, I am here. It looks like there's a bit of a river in the middle of the map, so we'll have to cross that. I don't know if we can walk across it, we'll have to find a bridge. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. Alright, there's something cool. Oh, a turkey man. <laughs> I'm not going to overly worry about them at the moment. We all know what the turkey look like. Oh, I have bought the turkey callers and what have you. And it looks like the deer grunt and the snort weezer, or whatever you call it. You can call on the sicker deer, the new deer. And you got the fallow deer, so we all know how to call them in, and the red deer. We have turkey callers for the turkey. Feral goats, obviously, you can't call in pigs. They'll be using the, the hog squealer, or whatever you want to call that thing. Um, so we can call some of the animals, and some of the animals we cannot call. I'm not sure about the chamois, or whatever they call those things, the sham meister. <laughs> I don't know if they have a caller. But I know you won't be able to call a feral goat in. Uh, that's a female. Oh, 
I bought the 22 pistol for the little animals. What is that down there? Am I looking at something on the riverbank? Hang on, let me find the binoculars. Alright, there we go. We've got some, uh, got some goats. So we can use the 303 on them. Let me find the 303 and we'll pop a scope on it. And we'll just sneak up here. The wind's good. And we'll be able to get to hear what this gun sounds like. We'll just check out. Oh my, oh, look at that turkey, man. We've got a couple of fine male turkeys there as well. How big is that bugger? Oh, pretty big. Almost big as a goat. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Two minor. Two minor. Man, that's a big one for 11 kilos. But like I said, we all know what the um, turkey look like. We, you know, so we're going to shoot at the goats with the 303. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. We'll just look for big horns. We're not going to really measure them here. Uh, I might go for that brown one there right at the front and we'll see what, what happens when, when they run. Are they running across the water? Uh, what's that on the lake? Oh, maybe it's uh, shallow water. That's a bit of a kick. Uh, we'll go get the two that are down. So there's the 303. For a minute I thought, what are these? They're walking on the water. But uh, uh, one's gone down. That one looks a bit sick. Oh no, it's running again. So I'm pretty sure we'd be able to use this on the goats because this is range between four to eight. And I imagine a goat would be what, four, five? level i shot one before i didn't check oh there's a bridge there but it looks like we can walk oh yeah you can see how shallow it is here so we can walk across the water oh they're coming back so we're just gonna go to um crouch because silly um goats let's see what we can do i think i might have wounded one of these so i don't know have a look at them. You're full health. Oh, no one's gone down there. What are you? You don't look good. Oh, you're dead. All right. Uh, so there's two. Two alive. I thought I hit a few of them. So, cool. We're going to get a few goats to start the hunt. We already got one, but I did shoot it with the wrong gun. And, uh, oh, there's some sort of, oh, that's a fellow deer. All right, it's not a new type of deer. Oh, wow, they're just uh, running straight back in to where their friends were shot. Let me just look along this uh, river while we're here. Yeah, so fellow deer across the river. Goats here. We had turkey. Two big fat males just sitting out there sunning themselves. So they were pretty happy. Uh, they've taken off now. So these goats, have they stopped? Are they eating again? Are they moving up here? Are they all... Small type goats, so they're all going to be probably silver and bronze. We didn't get anything big here. I just want to see if I can see where the other two have gone. They're below there somewhere. I thought they may have been walking back to where these guys are. Let's check them out, then we'll pick up all the goats. And uh, yeah. 
Might I take a shot at the fellow deer if they haven't heard me yet? <coughs> Alright, so here's our first victim right here. So I'll grab this one. Oh, there's two right here. So Australia, we have feral goats as well. Oh, that's only a small one. Did we use the right... I'm proper ammo. So... Oh, this is a class 3 animal. Damn, so I can't use the 303 on the goat. I have to use the Mosin. I did bring the Mosin, but I thought since this is the gun for the new map that it would match most of the animals all right so we've uh ruined the goats but it doesn't matter live and learn right we get along we learn what this 303 can and can't shoot i've never even shot feral goats in this game so well they've changed the sound of the mosin Alright, that should die. I know that. The Mosin uh, sounds a bit louder, actually. Never used to be like that. Alright, did the male fellow deer stay there? It did. Alright, so I can shoot that. Oh, is that a. Is that a. Yeah, that's a fellow, right? Yeah. I think there's another goat. Another two. Oh man, look at all the deer there. Oh, there's another goat. Man, there's a ton of them there. Oh, run out of bullets. Never helps. <laughs> you have bullets in your gun. Oh, that one looks like a pretty big one. Look at that bugger. What are you, come on, gun. Do you think? Look at that one. Oh my god. Oh, that's a smart goat. It kept, um... Man, this has turned into a bit of a weird thing. Is that a turkey standing there? Was. Right, you can die now, turkey. There you go. Alright, we'll grab the right gun. I'm going to make a few dollars here, I think. Well, I thought we'd go down there and have a look at the river. It's really paid off, as you can tell. Oh, I missed you. Oh, that got you. What else we got? Here you go. Alright, I think that's pretty much all the goats. That one will die. Let me just uh, look along the river here. Oh, the turkey. We'll grab that before we move off. So there we go. We've probably made um, about $10,000. Hey, hang on, Peter. Sorry, I haven't read the chat for a minute because I've been shooting. Um, <laughs> it, it's a pretty good map at the moment. I haven't uh, really opened much up, mate. We, we've only like gone to our first outpost. Open up one lookout and I stumbled on an outpost. We're at this river here. I thought we'd come down and look at the river and uh, it's been a goat massacre. <laughs> Just everywhere. Right? There was a big one out there. We might have a level five, mate. I was trying to shoot it in the right bit. And we, this male turkey was just sitting here. It's a gold. A 420. They're all gold. Still waiting for me, diamond. But I want to look across the river. We seem to have... 
How about that one there? Looks pretty big for easy. I'm going to pick up the goats and we're just going to get a little bit closer to them, fellow dears. Now, let's see. We've got, um, let's go fishing and catch us some goat. Uh, everywhere here, man. So there could be about nine to ten goats here. I don't know. There's a fair few. We've already collected two. And all the rest died in the water. Luckily, it's nice and shallow here. There is one real big one. I noticed. All right, so he's the Mosin's good gun to use. Thank you. That's why I bought it. So you can't use the 303 on the goat. We found that out. What time is it? It is 11.12. I did start it, I think, you know, like 7.30 or something. But yeah, we're just walking around slowly, taking our time. Uh, we hit all bad. All Look at that brain shot there, man. I know that thing's down and dead. But the big one, I was trying to aim for the lungs. So I'm hopefully, that's what I hit. I think that this is it here. Oh, look at the horns on this thing, man. Yeah, right, that. It's like a Harley. It's a gold. Oh, we hit, we hit the right, right bits. We hit the liver and lung. Look at that, man. Look at that shagadelic thing. They're pretty big horns. So 201. Wow, close to a diamond. That is close, man. That is very nice. I'm gonna keep that as my first um, gold uh, goat. They'll end up in a lodge. Maybe just the head. You know, you put them on the plaque. They look pretty good when you do that. Now, before we pick anything else up, we're just gonna look along again. Now they're still there, and we've been shooting the crap out of stuff. That one looks like the biggest one there. Four easy at 280. And we've got that small. So we'll get a little bit closer to that four easy and we might uh, take him out. We'll use the 303 on it and see. Uh, it should be good. I'm pretty sure I'll use the M1 on a fellow deer. Uh, there's a little white one. I worth 846 with all the ticks. And that's just a little bronze. Uh, this one's a female. You can see the udder on it. Uh, so black and white. So you get a good fur variation, don't you? Here's another one of them ready brown ones. Yeah, let's call that brown female. Oh, man. Not bad. Uh, another brown. A lot of females. Seems to be more females than males. Oh, there we go. Got a silver male, black and white. Look at the big beard on this guy. Now, that's a good looking goat, isn't it? That's not bad. And that's 1196. And we've got all the ticks. Hit the right one. I was shooting a bit haywire ish because they were running everywhere. No vile organ hit. Another female. Oh man, it's the river of death. <laughs> Goat river. It's full of them. <laughs> I saw like a a little patch of four goats and it ended up being like there was more I couldn't see over there. <coughs> so man, oh there's still another one out there. Uh, is this another female? Uh, it could be a male. Oh, it's a female. We've got a small udder. Alright, uh, one more goat in the water. And then, uh, where's our big boy? There, is that you? That's you, the four easy. Still at 200. I want to get a little bit closer and we'll use the 303 on it and, uh, yeah, see how that goes. Gold turkey. I got a gold turkey already. I don't. It must have been startled. It just stood there, and I was shooting at goats. And I go, is that a turkey standing there? Like it hadn't even. Originally, they there was two, and they flew off. 
So maybe it was startled and just flew there and then glitched out. I don't know. Oh, there's another black and white female. I like that. I like that. Uh, that's a nice fur. That is pretty cool. I thought I just saw something up the hill here. Probably them ones we were looking at originally. Yeah, it's a female. So I'm just going to go sideways here. I don't care if I scare the ones directly in front of me. So I'm going to get a long shot into this uh, 4 easy, Which is somewhere here. Is that you at the back? There you are. I was looking at all of them. That is the biggest one. There's, there's a three there. So I'm only going to shoot the four. Whatever runs they run. Oh man, the fog's moving in. The land of the long white fog and the water's getting deeper. Come on, dude. Can you get across? My avatar's moving slow. Rolling on the river. Come on. You can do it. Get across there, man. Right, if we run. Hey, we're going to be quicker. It was... <laughs> Maybe if the water was deeper, the goats would have floated back to us like ducks. <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? All these goats floating back. All right. Now we've got a four. That's him right there. 129. I still want to get a little bit more sideways. Oh, what is wrong with that one? There's something growing out of its back, or am I looking at it weird? Looks like it's got two heads or something. What, what is that there? Maybe it's just something behind it. So yeah, there's only like two males. Oh, there's another one there at the back. A three. So there's our buddy. Let's um, come on. Oh, man. You get so far in the river and you get stuck. Oh, no! No, no, no! What happened? Did it say, oh, Sammy on the right side. Beautiful. All right. They're all gonna they're gonna move off. Where's my four now? Is that you? Is that you? That's him there, right? No, it's a three. Is it looking at that one? What is wrong with that one? Unless it's two deer standing together. So we've just lost the four easy now. Because the game probably, they probably heard me when I landed. I'm not sure. Oh, that one looks really, I don't know what's wrong with that one. So it's got something growing out of its back. Am I just seeing two deers stuck together? Like it's not even, there it's spotted then. It's a three easy male. So I think we've lost our four. Right, get out of the water. I'll get up on this hill. Right, why am I going so slow? Alright, so we've got the 303. Probably only need to be on set. What's the range on this? 300, 150, 75. So, normal range. If we can't see the four, we'll take a three and just see how the 303 goes on it because we used it on the goats and it's illegal on the goat. Hey, Silent Juggler, how you going, mate? It is going good. Having not a bad hunt at the moment. We just got a heap of goat. I did get stuck in the river, but uh, the game forced us out. And I was looking at a four easy fellow deer, which now I... There it is. That's got to be it there, is it? That's a three. I think we might have lost our four. I just want to get up and uh, look down. I'm really surprised. The wind's good, but they just haven't heard me. Let's stand up for a tick and see what we can see. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Alright, so we got him. I'm pretty sure that was the four. So that was the 303. We used it on the goats and uh, you can't use it on the goats, so... Alright, they're all females, so we're going to let them head off. 
And I've got oh, one male there, which is the three easy. So let's see what's going on with this. Uh, Oh, now I can hear it. So they've got more feral goat over there. There goes one. There's one. We've got a nice gold feral goat. It's like seven points off being a diamond. So that's pretty cool. I actually kept that one. It's my first big goat. We taxidermized it. And uh, yeah. Might as well. We'll keep it. Alright, here's our. This should be a four easy. It is, we've got a gold, it's not a huge gold, it's only a 198. Yeah, not too bad. A couple of golds already today. Yeah, but not, not for, you know, it's not, not the biggest one you're ever going to see, but yeah, 1198, that is not bad. And the 303, not a problem. So yeah, we use it on the goats, the goats are a level 3. Um, 303 is between 4 and 8. So this is a class 4 animal, so not a problem. So we might just uh, stay around here a little bit. Around this lake, just a little bit longer. And just see what we can uh, see. There are only small little goats. That one's a bit bigger. Four easy. Could be a small gold or a big silver. So if you don't know where we are on the map, this is your starting point here. So I've just walk, walked around here, open up a few things around the lake and straight on to this river. So I'm thinking we might walk along this river a bit and then go inland. Because the water's always good in these games, like it, the animals get drawn to it for drinking and what have you. Let's see if we can see a massive goat. And they're all pretty, uh, pretty uh, tiny. That'll be a female fellow. You can see the countryside looks pretty good. It actually looks very nice. I don't know if you can climb all the way up to that. I imagine that'd be too steep. Maybe you could get up th that bit there. Like that doesn't look as steep. Is that within the park though? That could be it there. You reckon that's it there? If it is, it's, it's in the park boundary. And you can climb up that big one um, at Mount Leviathan. Um, so, who knows? I'm going to let them go. I don't want to cross the river again now that we've crossed it. Although it looks pretty easy. We can cross again right here. Now we're not doing the missions now. We've done the first mission, open up the uh, first outpost and open up the... So we've done like two missions and open up the first lookout. And you had to grab a camera and uh, she wants me to go around taking photos of stuff and what have you, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. Because uh, that's your job, to do your own missions and find out what they're like when you get the game, if you don't have it yet. And I don't want to spoil it for you. And we're hoping to see... That, look at that big turkey over there. There is a few... I've seen a few turkey already. I'm glad there's turkey on the map, actually. I do enjoy hunting them. I don't know about you. You like hunting the turkey? I think they're pretty cool. Now, it'd be nice to see a sicker deer. Um, one of the... Is some of them pigs, the feral pigs. I don't really care if we see a red deer or not. We all know what they look like. But a sicker deer would be nice. These smoshies, smashies, what are they called? Smooshies. What's <laughs> called? There's another sort of animal here. Looks like a cross between a goat and a kangaroo. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to see them as well. All right, that looks like a tower over there with a big turkey next to it. Yeah, my pistol won't go that far. That's a nice, that's a, up to 11 kilo, that's a good turkey. That was, uh, we saw that earlier, or one with the same weight, and it flew off when we started shooting the uh, goats. 
And he's right on that tower. Well, you open up the tower for me over there, Turkey? I'll give you the money. <laughs> I'll promise not to shoot you. But so far, it's a nice map. Nice, sunny. We had a little bit of rain. Get a lot of mist on certain parts. We're going to walk up into this... Uh, and I'll keep walking along. And then we'll get up a bit so we can see down. And uh, yeah, hopefully we find these feral pigs. You did a few of the missions and they are built to take you around the whole map. Yeah, I'm sure they are, but it screws up the hunt. Yeah, like all the, usually all the missions do uh, lead you on from point to point right across the map, which is good. You know, I think I can, uh, I'm quite capable of getting around the map myself, so. And I like to do it at my own leisure anyway. It's like SRP, I don't know if you watch my videos, and I did open that map up very slow. We'd done one section at a time as we hunted. I didn't hop on the ATV and rush around and try and open it all up. Because, you know... There's really no use doing that, unless, you know, I don't, I don't, never in a rush to open up a map, but that's a nice big male there, with a big beard on it, if that's what you call them. That's a, that's a there's one there too, that's got to be a male. So 180 to 209, so that one there is the biggest one. 417. Oh wait, and we've got more, man, there are a ton of these goats, I'm telling you. Apart from the fellow deer and the turkey, I've only seen the goat. No other new animal yet. And I keep listening for a, a pig crying. I was calling in the distance and uh hasn't happened yet. So the release date for the console is 2023. Including the delays. Well, we'd hope not. We hope it's January 2021. But yeah, even, I don't know, I can't make any promises to you guys. I have no idea myself. But you'd hope it wouldn't be, you know, you hope it'd be January. Not long after Christmas, or just in New Year's. Oh, they're saying it's like Microsoft and Sony that hold it up. Yeah, you know, I have no idea. I'll believe them, okay. But it would be nice if we could have a, you know, everyone gets it on the same day at the same time, and, you know, and everyone gets to try it. Console, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, we all, we all cop it at once and, oh, that, that one looks not bad. We might uh, take a white boy there. A wind's good, I'm just going to... Go to crouch. I want to move up a little bit closer. Uh, and fast crouch. Hey, we'll take a nice... Uh, goats are everywhere, man. You're going to make a few bucks off these goats, I tell you. They're just everywhere. And they don't run super fast. They do run. But it's not like, you know... They don't run as quick as... Uh, as most deers... Man, look at it over there. Oh, wow, we. That one there looks huge. There's some nice ones over there. We might have to go back across the river, guys. <laughs> have another go to slaughter. We've already done one. Is that a cave out there or a shadow? As a shadow. It'd be nice if they had little, um, I don't know, little caves or holes in the ground that you could find. I like when they have hidden stuff, but... Oh, man, they're, they're just everywhere. Look, there are goats. And I've got to tell you, the Mosin's louder now. They've made the Mosin. They've changed the sound of the Mosin, and it's a lot louder. I used to like it because it was a fairly, you know, quietish type of gun for this game. And now it seems they've pumped up the volume on it, and yeah. It's a wee bit louder. Which I'm not overly happy with. I like a quiet gun. Especially when you're using headphones as well. So. Oh, 
But oh well. It's still a good gun, the Mosin. and I like it. So yeah, the ghosts are level three, so you can't use the three oh three on them. Alright, hopefully this big goat hasn't wandered off. Because now I've gone to crouch and they're over this ridge, so I can't see anything just yet. But man, no big deal, they seem to be everywhere, these goats. And the wind's good, so they shouldn't smell me coming. Hopefully they don't hear me. I don't know, we've got to meet that guy. There he is with the big handlebars, look at him. Oh, you'll, you'll turn the right way, sunshine. Turn around, that's it. Right, I'll let them run, and we'll just get big boy. That's the one I wanted. Right, are you going to stop? Right, run, that's it, run. I'll shoot you otherwise. So this one may be a gold as well. It looks like we've got a, the zone here, the drinking zone. And we've got another outpost there. Do I have that one? Uh, no, I don't. So we might wander over and grab that as well. We've got another turkey. A lot of turkey, man. Good. I'm happy there's a ton of turkey on this map. Ah, oh, there's the bridge that I haven't used yet, so... There's the bridge. Imagine we can walk across that. Let's pick up uh, our old billy goat here. Uh, not as big as the first one I kept, but yeah, it's not bad. They're not bad handlebars. I mean, look at all this. It's like a motorbike handlebars, isn't it? You get on it, <laughs> and they're off. It is a gold, a 179. 1240. Nice white color and nice big, uh, I'm going to call that a beard. It's under his chin. They are nice. That is a beautiful looking goat. So, yeah. Uh, kind of feels like every map they release date for the consoles gets one week or more. Yeah. And I thought after the last one they said they were going to try and have it all on the same day. Yeah, but, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know why these things happen and why it constantly happens. There, look at that big one. I'm gonna go for him. I'm just gonna pop the gun on 300. I just try and laser beam it. I hit it that time. Alright, we got that one. That may stay gold if it... Ah, oh, ran out of bullets. May stay gold if we hit a vital. Oh, we can walk back around over there on the dirt. I reckon if we wait a few minutes, they'll come back. So I'm going to go fill up my drink. I'm just going to crouch here. And by the time I come back, the ghost might appear. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. I need to uh, <coughs> oh, fill up this raspberry cordial.
bad day to be a goat. That's for sure. They come back. Yep. I can see a whole herd of them over there. They are back. Let's look for another big one. Him. 232. Now, what about... Yeah, I don't think you're as big. Can you spot for me? Can't get that middle one. There we go. 142, 171. All right, so... You're facing me. I might take him and that one might turn. I might get the shot I want in. I'm not sure. I noticed the other ones after we shot them, they came pretty much straight back. Like, you wait a minute, and now uh, they're back. Oh, I missed you. Got you that time. Alright, so hopefully they both die. I remember we've got an outpost over there somewhere. Alright, there is three dead. One way at the back there, shaking his head. So I might wander over now. We've got to go over here. To the dirt to get across, I think. Because, uh, sounds like it looks like I can get there when you get to the other end, it gets a bit deep. I got stuck coming across. <laughs> Man, it's just, it's Goat City around here. Can't believe how many there are. <coughs> Apart from, you know, we did see fellow deer, but, nah. Puke a Mero. I don't know what that word said then. It's all puke. Uh, it's nice we can get across here. Without having to go to the bridge. That'd be a bummer, wouldn't it? I like an easy river crossing. Uh, just here, it even got a little bit deep. It does look nice though, this map. It is not bad. Different uh, vegetation than we used to, different sounds. Like I said, it's quiet. Like there's not a constant geese going over or, you know, birds chattering. It's actually pretty... Oh, and there's another... F <laughs> there's a turkey. Hello. You're another gold turkey, aren't you? So this is, uh... Yeah, it's crazy with the goats. She did say when she talks that they have a... You know, a ton of the feral goats in New Zealand, so... And they eat all the native vegetation. As goats do, they eat anything. They'll eat rose bushes, man. They'll eat the thorns and everything, a goat. They're a pretty hardy animal, really. Alright, so this should be a goal. I think this is the first one that we killed. It's another brown. Oh, look at the handlebars on it. Not bad. Yeah, goal to 182. So not too bad. Still not as big as my first goal. Look at that. That is not bad. And we got all the ticks we did, and it's 1244 cash. So the first shot at 203, we hit the one. Uh, we should have another. That other one, big one, should be injured. It may be dead now. Uh, you're a decent size. You're another gold. Smaller one, though. Look at the neck on it, it's sort of black, yeah, black-brown. That's a nice fur variation. Now I can hear goats still uh, making sound. Oh, it could be them ones over there. 
Oh, so there should be another one back here dead, another one injured. Oh, here's our dead friend. This was only a small one, I think. This is just a shot I took. You're a silver three, very easy. Got all the ticks. And we've got you at 233, and you're called a dark brown. Alright, that's a nice colour. So I'm actually not, you know, I don't mind the goats. They're pretty cool. Now we've got to find blood. And uh, the blood, where is it? It's got to be here somewhere. And we've got to track it back. Here we are. Alright, that's uh, just a wound shot, really. So I'm not a very good shot. But I think we did hit it the second time as it was running off. Right here. Our medium bleed rate. Let's see what we've done. Find out how tough these goats are anyway. With a wound, well, can they go down the north to 25 and just keep going? Oh. Alright. Maybe that was the second shot there? I don't know. Got a few tracks. Imagine it should be dead just back here. Yeah, there it is. So this was the other big one, I think. No, no, what are you? You're a small one. I don't know. I don't know, maybe you're the one I'm talking about. None. You're a female. You can't be the one. Look at that. <laughs> it was going through the air sort of thing as we hit it. And I don't think we're going to get the ticks. No, no, no vital organ hit. So is there one more goat? I think there may be one more then. I think we shot at a dark one. I think um, Paul Douglas and Caven has uh, came in. Uh, you just, uh, you, you just been shooting goats, mate. You haven't missed the whole heap. We get one gold fellow deer. And uh, we had a little goat massacre earlier. We have shot a turkey. And after that, it's just all been goats. There's like a ton of goats on this map. And uh, as I'll just show you again, we've only gone from... That's the first outpost to open up. And then the lookout, there's another outpost. So we have, we've only been around this part, and then I'll walk to the river here. So we're just hanging around the river, um, shooting goats at the moment. I'm hoping to see those uh, feral pigs. We haven't even heard them yet. And look, we just shot goats over there before. There's a turkey in the water. So, plenty of turkey. I, I don't know. Was there another goat that I hit? I thought there may have been. Maybe I'm just uh, confused. But I'll just double check at the back here. I hate to leave them lying around. Uh, there we go. Blood splatter, no major organ hit. Now, did it run this way? Or is this an old track? That's a track coming back. So this one may not die. Might be a bad shot. Ooh, this one may live. Check the next blood. See if it's going down. So I'm hearing goats. They're just everywhere. And we, we're we not doing the missions in this uh, stream. I'm going to leave that to you guys to do all your own missions and find out what they're like. Oh, the first mission... Oh, it's dead. But the first mission you do by opening up the outpost and then you do a second one by opening up the lookout. And she makes you grab a cam camera at the first outpost. But yeah, apparently I'm wearing the camera. But we're, I'm supposed to be out there taking photos. We're not doing it. All right, you were going to be a gold, I think. No, you were going to be a big silver. But no major organs hit. Okay. So we'll head back towards the river. So we're going to find, we might cross it and then keep going up into the hill. And try and get out of the goat area. Because, uh... Man, there is like a ton of them. I don't want to just shoot goats. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just we'd like to find a different animal. 
Hey, Minister, how you going? Good to see you, mate. But the map itself, like you can tell you're in a, a different map, other than the vegetation. And we have these things here. I think they're trees. There are other ones that look like ferns, but these ones are obviously trees. It's a pretty good looking map. And there was another outpost that we'll head for. I think it was over here somewhere. I'll try and find it. I think it was at the back there. I'll open that up and then move on. There's a bridge over here. Might have a look at that and cross it if we can. I don't know if it's a train bridge or I'm pretty sure we'll be able to walk across it. And as you see, if we look straight across, just goat after goat. You can see the first, oh, there's a nice one. That'll be a gold. So there's a different fur variation. I think that's called dark brown. And you have brown. Look at that one. Look at that color of that one. I might shoot that because I like the color. And we'll find out when we pick it up what the hell it is. Uh, can you turn again? Show me your lungs, buddy. Oh, did I hit you? Oh, it's down. All right, so we'll have to pick that up over there. Uh, look at that one. It's going for a swim. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot it because it'll just fall on the deep water. So there's a bridge here that we can cross. So we'll head for that, we'll cross, we'll go pick up our goat, then there's an outpost at the back there. Right in there, somewhere, there it is, that will open up. And we'll try and get out of the goat area, we'll try and find feral pigs. Um, and I don't know where the sicker deer are, like this map is huge. So imagine they're probably way over the other side of the map. And if we need to, we'll have to change the time. I don't want it to get dark. I like to, you know, do my streaming or make a video in the daytime so I can see what's going on. Oh, look at this. It looks nice, doesn't it, when you run through it. Like, it's a pretty map. Some parts have a lot of mist. You just There's mist everywhere. Now, they, see these ones? They look like a fern. We have ferns like that in Australia out in the bush. They sort of are different at the trunk, so I'm not sure. This could be a tree. But they have the fern type uh, leaves on them. Oh, a rabbit. We must have a... Oh, there's one right there. Did we hit it? Oh, seriously, rabbit. What are you, like the toughest rabbit? In oh, there you are. I'll say the toughest rabbit in the world. So I must have a rabbit burrows around here. Oh, right here, look. There's a rabbit burrow. So if you're on this road right near that bridge, they're probably the same on everyone's map. So that was lucky. Um, lucky timing. That the, you know, rabbit was there. Alright, now let's find the bridge. So I can, oh, here it is here. So it's not a railway bridge, it's just a bridge bridge. So there we go, we've got our first rabbit of the day. That was lucky. <laughs> timing is everything as they say, right? Quite true. Let's check what the time is. Uh, it's not too bad. But I might, at the outpost, change it back to morning. So when we travel on, we, we just keep getting daylight. Look at that. But if we don't have like kayaks in this uh, game, like on a river like that, it'd be beautiful just to kayak down it and explore it that way, wouldn't it? And then just pull up at the shore and go bananas. All right, so there's them, uh, some more of those goats. Yeah, I reckon you'd be in danger if you shot them ones, they'd roll down into the river they might float across like a duck, but, you know, I'm not going to risk it. And all the names are a bit weird. <laughs> Don't ask me to pronounce them. 
I will uh, butcher it for sure. I'm not very good at uh, <laughs> new names that I've never seen before. I shouldn't have those things on top of it. I don't even know what that means. Oh, there's a goat right there. Yeah, that'd be a goal, probably. Four easy, small goal. Um, there are these goats are everywhere now. I know they call them feral goats, so they are more goats than bloody rabbits. Uh, I'm interested to see the one we shot there. I want to really want to see what they call that color. It's like an orangey tan. So we'll grab that, we'll go to the outpost, we may change the time, and then move away from this area a bit. See if we can find the pigs. And maybe sick to deer, that'd be nice to find, because I've, I've never seen them. Just in photos. Um, I, like I said, I didn't watch anyone stream this before it was released, because I didn't want spoilers for myself. Man, I don't, these goats, you're going to end up, you can sit here and get a hundred goats. We've got way over ten already. We must have about twenty goats almost. Just in this hunt, and we, you know, that is a lot. So our dead buddy should be back here somewhere. There goes his mates running off. Where are you, bud? Uh, shout out if I walk past it. <laughs> Can't happen. I think it was a bit more over here. I suppose that's the problem when you're shooting across a river. I really wish they'd do that, like when you do the Hunter Classic, you can look through there and click the left uh, mouse button and it puts a dot on the map. So I know exactly where that kill was. You can look on the map and there's a dot. So here's our buddy. Let's see what colour it is. Look at that, that looks really nice. Looks like a, I don't know, tan and black. Look at the curls on the, the horns look very nice. That's a gold and it's oh, yeah, black and brown. Pretty nice, huh? But you can't use the 303 on them. You'll have to bring the Mosin or a gun like that that can shoot level 3 animals or class 3. 1236. Yeah, that's nice. I like that colour. Look at the big beard on it. I'm just going to call that a beard. I really don't know what they're called, you know in real life but I'm just going to call it a beard and that is a huge one that is a good beard I've been growing that for a while so we'll get this outpost should be just over here at the back and uh yeah we might change the time back to morning so I don't know when I'm going to cr come across my next outpost man they're at the outpost the goats they're just, just over there somewhere All right, my first outpost, I went, I went in, because it was like a mission, and the woman was talking and talking and talking. Then I went out to go to the locker and open it up, and I go, oh, the locker's broken, it won't open. And one guy said to me, I didn't unlock the outpost. I went, oh, that's right. Got to go to the flagpole and unlock it. So that was my bad. So here we are. The first outpost is a bit more elaborate. Unless this is one of them as well. Yeah, this is like the first outpost. They've got the two doors. I look pretty cool. Here's our map of our uh, reserve. Notice uh, that they're filming Resplendent Sword out there somewhere. That's part of the mission. You've got to clean up after the film crew. And then you've got to start taking photos of the park. 
So I'll give you a quick look in the outpost in case you haven't seen it because I'm going to change the time anyway. As you may have missed it earlier when I walked in the one. They are not bad. We have a bench here. Can we actually sit on the bench? No, we're not getting the E thing. The first one's got this big, uh, when you walk in, it's got a big Maori statue there, like a big Maori dude. I shot it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you got your fireplace, wood, little kitchen with a fridge, and a sink. And a few freeers can have a cup of coffee in the morning. And uh, yeah, here's the beds. So we'll reset the time. Time flies in this game. I'm used to the Hunter Classic now, and it moves so slow in that game. All right, so we're going to go to five in the morning. Work in paradise. And it's the helicopter one, Alpine Ops. Specialist in venison, retrieval, and processing. Fair enough. Any other posters in the bedroom? Nope. Hey, okay, I think these are the sicker deer. I'm pretty sure they're not red deer there. So that's probably the sicker deer there in the photo. And we have another photo there of men on horses. Horseback. They're probably old hunters or rangers. Alright, so let me refocus on my map. Alright, we're here. So maybe if we move across this way. Come on, let me put a waypoint. Let me um, do that again. Oh, there we go. Place a waypoint. We're going to head out this direction because we haven't been there. Like we've been here at Wakiki where you start. We cross the river. Um, so maybe if we go over here, we might find sicker deer and pig. I don't know. Like once again, I do not know. But uh, usually there's only one way to find out. How you going, Mario? Good to see you in here, mate. In real life, they call them a beard. They do call them a beard there, Peter. Good. So I got that right at least. Oh, they do look like a beard, don't they? It looks like a man's beard, so... I don't know, I'm, call I'm calling it a beard. And that one had a, a decent beard. Did maybe we score and buy the beard. Look how big that beard is, man. <laughs> that one could be Santa Claus. So, yeah. No, it's by the horns, but, you know, I reckon they would throw the beard in as well. That's a diamond beard. So yeah, nice, we're back here, now it's morning, so we'll walk up this part of the map where we haven't been. And we're going to try and find them chamois, the chamois, <laughs> um, and the and the sicker deer, hopefully, and the pigs. Who's that guy that tries to tell you the chamois, that guy? Vince, it's Vince selling you a chamois, mate. The chamois. <laughs> <laughs> Those bin sets, that guy's crazy. He's a good salesman though, isn't he? You start to watch the ad and you go, oh, this guy's getting me mesmerised. I want to buy one of these things. And I don't even need it. Is that a rabbit? It is. I just saw the holes there. He goes, a turkey. <laughs> I don't think we hit the turkey. Probably scared the crap out of the rabbit. We'll just see if there's any turkey blood. I don't think we hit that. I did try. I don't know, what's this? Is that blood? Is that blood or is that a poo? I don't know, we hit the turkey. Turkey blood. That should die. This is a super turkey. Yeah, it's dead. So we'll pick up the turkey. This is why I bought the shotgun, the G10. Um, turkey and rabbits. And we did bring the little pistol also. Same thing, turkey and rabbits. So this is my, uh, what, second turkey today, I think. And it should be a gold. It is. It's a four, just the gold. I have never, ever gotten a silver one. They're all gold. On SRP, all gold. So far here, all gold. Look at that. <laughs> Flying. That's a great photo, isn't it? That is beautiful. All right. Now, we did hear rabbits. Now, probably because I've shot the turkey, the rabbits have... Uh, we did get one rabbit already. Well, lucky rabbit just sort of ran out in front of me and I shot it. And then we found the burrows behind it. So, yeah, it looks like the rabbits are a bit active, which is good. 
when I went to Hirschfeld and they're all like, uh, what's going on with the rabbits? <laughs> And I like an active animal. I don't want to, you know, just sit near the rabbit holes and nothing happens. See, I think they're oh, still hearing goats, man. They're just, every, they're just, you keep hearing them. So we're going to walk, keep going, heading to our, our uh, marker on the map. And hopefully we're going to find uh, pigs and uh, different animals than, uh, than anything else. I think that'll be good. Oh uh, man, we've got to get out of this area because all I'm hearing is goats. Nothing wrong with them, but we already shot like way, way, way ton of them. A heap of them. And uh, I think it's, uh, we need to shoot something else now. Oh, hopefully, I'd like, I really want to find the pigs and the sick deer. It would be lovely to find them. But like I said, I have no idea where the animals hang on this map. Like, the direction I'm going could be totally wrong, but uh, trial and error. <laughs> Why not? <sighs> Our turkey was awesome. I love turkey, so they just fly out. I mean, I've had them just fly down and land straight in front of me, which is dumb. But yeah, it's always a surprise seeing a turkey fly by. And you get to try your, your air skills, see if you're any good at shooting them out of the air. So they're probably going get, to get a bit of mist in the morning. On this map we did last time, when we started, there was a lot of mist. Uh, what is that? Man, another turkey. <coughs> this is a bit like SRP. The turkeys seem to be spread out all over the place so far. And uh, if we're lucky, it'll just fly on by. I mean, shoot that as well. The wind's good so far. I've been lucky with the wind. I keep walking into the wind every direction I go, so I've been very lucky. Look at that hill up there. I wonder if you can climb up that. That's probably where them kangaroo goats are, whatever you call them ones. That's probably where they live, on the high um, peaks. Uh, look how steep that is. Oh, what was that noise? I don't know if that was a bird, or was it an, an animal I can hunt? I heard this w really weird noise then. There is again. Sounds like something crying. What is that noise? Let's check these tracks. There's some weird noises, man. But it could be birds in the background, but it just sounds like some sort of animal crying or something. That's weird. Now that's got to be something I can hunt, that sound. Uh, let's check these tracks and see if it gives us uh, a different animal that we haven't seen yet. Oh, that's a turkey, isn't it? Alright, so let's not panic. <laughs> it's a turkey. I'm gonna look around the binoculars though. I did hear there's like a something making a noise like it's crying. I have no idea what it is. Ah, more goats. So, damn you goats, go away. <laughs> I'm looking for something else. Oh, what's that? Oh, there we go. There's a big old goat. Look at that. That's a nice one actually. He should go down. There we go. We gotta pick him up. Another gold. Plenty of gold goats. So they're gonna be one of your favourites. You know, like a, a money maker. You're just gonna walk around. They're, they're gonna be everywhere. Yeah, but don't use the three o three on them. 
they're a class three, the goat. So I'm using the Mosin on them. I did make the mistake the first few we shot with the 303. And yeah, wrong ammo. So. And a problem. Learn trial and error. We will learn. And there we go. This will be a gold. A 180. Not too bad. And 12.39. I look alright, don't I? Like, really, that's not a bad uh, model. So let's keep heading towards our... We can hear magpies, actually. Do they have magpies in New Zealand like we do in Australia? That sounds like a magpie, anyway. this goat poo good got to get out of the goat area I want, I want something else <coughs> like I said I'm not complaining just uh man it'd be nice to get a sick deer or a pig I was looking at the stream when I saw that you know the, the spotted pigs they look pretty cool I actually liked how they looked and we haven't had a feral pig in call of the wild yet we got the wild boar yeah, and in, uh, in the classic, there's feral pigs on a few maps. Settlers Creek, Loggers Point. Yeah, I'm probably forgetting one. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's a few maps with feral pigs on them. But not here. Now we have them. Now we got them. And what's a feral pig? That should be like a class 4 animal. We should be able to use a 303 on that. Because feral pigs can get pretty big. Although the ones in I saw on the video look like they got really tiny legs. They didn't look very tall at all. So I don't know. Let's get the binoculars just in case. Yeah, so we're going uphill all the way on this one. As you can see, like we're, since we've left the river, the countryside actually changed a bit now. Trees are a bit thicker and denser. So I like that with these maps, how you go from one area to the next and it does change. And that's where you should get the different animal with the changing of the, you know... Oh, let's see. We haven't. Jammy, is it? Yep. Little fellas will make you work for them. They're sharp as with top senses, and you better believe that once they spot you, they'll be out of there over tricky terrain before you can say, go to antelope. Alright, so I found Vince's chamois. Um, yeah. These look like they get pretty small animal. Yeah, class 3, I'm going to have to use the Mosin on them. And they brought out a 303, they should have put a fair few animals we can shoot with it on the map. I know we can probably shoot the red deer with it. And the sicker deer, and maybe the pig, is that it? Because these are another Mosin uh, animal, or a class 3 gun. Let's see how old the poo is. Maybe that's what I was hearing, I was hearing like something crying. Maybe that's what the noise these make. Oh, that's very old. What's that? There's one up there doing a mating call. So they seem to be then, they're in the hills then. They come up here where it's nice and steep by the looks of it. So we'll try and get one of these and see what they look like. I actually haven't seen one of these on any of this, you know, this expansive world stream I watched. I think he saw them in the distance, but uh, he couldn't get them. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what we find. The wind's sort of okay. It's a crosswind. We should be fine. It's just if they hear me or not. And that's if we can see it, like, you know. I still hear goats. Alright. 
there. There's one right there. Oh, we had smoke. Do we freaking hit it? Let's see. Didn't seem to have horns. I, I'm not, like I, I've never seen these animals. I don't know if they're supposed to have a horn or not. I'm not sure we hit that, but I saw smoke. So maybe we, we hit the butt. Or we've hit the ground, one or the other. Let's see, I'm pretty sure that's spotted then, so we should have a blue track up here. Oh, we've got a dead animal. So let's see what these look like. So the second shot must have done the trick. So I'm not sure we hit it with the first shot. It just seemed to stand there, so... Oh. There's another one up there. That sounded like a cat purring. That was a really weird sound. Right, let's check out this one and try not to scare the other one that's up there. Oh, no, it has horns. And look at the eyes on it, man. Look at that. Looks like someone's turned the lights on. <laughs> we can't see all of it because it's stuck in the bush, but you can see the head pretty good. This is a sort of goat-like animal. Yeah, really small horns. That is a male silver. All right, we hit the right one. And there you go, that's what it looks like. So a diamond's probably going to have, you know, horns that go up to there. That's not a bad looking animal. Looks a bit <laughs> devilish, doesn't it? Looks a bit evil. Sort of has them goat sort of eyes. Look at that, 1,094. All right, so we're moving into an area where at least we're getting some different animals. I did hear one made a noise over here, and it sounded like a cat purring. I think if we just move slow, we're not going to scare them. It's just a matter if we see them or not. So there we go. Walking up the hills, we found a different animal. The chamois. <laughs> I don't know what they're really called. Chamois. Chamois. It's a nice map. It's very peaceful. It's a very quiet map. Your call of the wild isn't launching. Try and uh, revalidate your files, Matrix. Sometimes that'll make the difference. And, you know, if it's not launching, it's... I don't know why, but yeah, I'd revalidate the files and then try again. Sometimes that does help with a lot of things. So I kind of revalidate the files of the Hunter Classic. It had 64 files missing that it then found. And uh, <laughs> how can you have 64 files <laughs> missing? But the game was still working, so, you know, I don't know. It was really weird. Uh, I'm gonna stand up now. I'm not hearing anything now. All right, stand up, man. Uh, so these look how steep it is here. So these chamois are gonna be on really steep uh, hills. Heard the ATV had a bit of trouble getting up here. It's a gutless bloody wonder that thing, isn't it? I need to give us a <laughs> an ATV that's like a 900 cc or something that goes like the bat out of hell. Get it up on the back wheels would be awesome. 
<laughs> you got me hearing it like I'm going to. Wow. <laughs> you scare the crap out of every animal for a kilometre. All right, so let's go up the top and we'll look down the other the other side. This is probably chamois tracks. There it is. Another male. Yeah, all right, but uh, I still want the pigs and the sicker deer. I still hear a goat, so maybe the chamois make a goat sound as well. Sometimes. From hearing goats bleat. Still. So the goat may be all over the map almost. Oh, that little fern tree. We can cut that down, put that in our lounge room and uh, decorate it with tinsel. Put a few baubles on it and an angel on top and uh, Christmas, here we come. All right, there's a, we'll go open this up. This must be a lookout. Might get a great view from up here. Yeah, all chamois uh, tracks here. Up here, this way. But we'll grab the lookout while we're here. That'll show us where the next outpost is usually. On the map. Oh, wow. Oh, all right. Mount Trahor, I think that said. It come across pretty quick. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This looks like we got uh, we got the precious, mate. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings, the precious. We should have a great one, uh, Hobbit or Gollum, on this uh, map. Uh, we can smack around. That'd be awesome. All right, let's get in here. Uh, remember, it's still morning, so... What is that? I think that's just rocks. Uh, let's get in. Have you haven't seen one of these. Look at them. They are a big uh, lookout. It's a big spiral staircase. It reminds you something out of the Lord of the Rings, this, doesn't it? Well, this could be a Hobbit Apartments. You just keep a floor every now and again. It has about, you know, a hundred hobbits in here. Uh, and here we are. We have a nice uh, chair. Our microwave. A few cans of spirit, which is probably supposed to be Sprite. We have uh, food good, is it? Food good. Better than food bad. Has 90 calories, uh, has 1.5 grams of fat, saturated fat, trans fat, zero grams. Okay, cholesterol, zero. Uh, sodium, 35 milligrams. Carbohydrate, something, is 18. Dietary fiber, zero. I'm not sure if that's a healthy thing to eat or not, but uh, you need binoculars to see the back of the can, you're in, in trouble. All right, so there we go, let's open her up. Nice view. Look at that. Looks pretty good. You finally bought the 90R rifle and crossbow. Now you're making GMs in classic. Cool, man. It's Once you start to make the money in classic, before you know it, you'll have the next gun you want, man. Or the next, you know, bow that you want. So yeah, you're on your way now. Once you do that, you know, it's not so much of a grind then. I know you grind for your first real good weapon you want that you can shoot bears, elk, red deer, coyote, you know, the, the feral pigs. You want a gun that can nearly handle every animal on the map. Like there isn't a gun that can handle every animal on the map, you know what I mean? The majority of them. Once you get that gun, that's it, man. You're on your way. Before you know it, you'll have another 20,000 GMs and be looking at your next weapon and going, eh, what do I want now? 
and that really opens the game up for you. And then you can get the you know a caller that you may need. Yeah, you might want a hog caller. You might want a red deer caller. Yeah, you might want a moose caller. You know, I wish the game was like that. <laughs> When I used to play it years back, we had to pay the license fee, and then if you wanted a gun, you pretty much had to pay real money for it. There's a chamois, three ninety nine, four hundred away. I was going to walk up there. Let's just see. And I was, what's it, what's it going to do? Uh, I just popped out a render. There's another one. That's a two minor. I so obviously really like the steep areas. But we want to see Sitka deer, so we might have to move off this mountain. And uh, where does this road go to? What are we looking at here? Where am I? Oh, we're still heading that way. And that'll take us out of the ranges. We might go here first and open up that waypoint. Uh, outpost waypoint and uh move from there so that's 500 meters away then we want to get on the atv and go down this road uh, which will take us through the ranges to this part maybe we'll go over there see what's there that looks like flat ground or we could go this way on the ATV and go over to here, which looks like flat ground. I'm confused, but we'll open the outpost up first. I've had a med kit on me, I'd probably jump down there <laughs> and try the med kit in my hand on the way down if we hit the ground and pull it out so we could survive, but yeah. I don't think I have one. It's probably best that I do it. I don't know which outpost it'll send me back to if, when I die. So, we're headed out this way, 500 meters. And we want to find the pigs and the sicker deer. would be really nice. Oh, you uninstalled it and it meant to click manage. Oh, that's no good, man. You want to uninstall the whole game. Because, you know, you're probably looking at... This game with all the maps and DLC now is probably well over 50 gigabytes. Although if you have a good uh, upload speed, it won't take long to upload. Probably only take a couple hours. Alright, so we'll run here. And we might whack an ATV out and try to get to a, a part where we may think we'll find pigs and uh, sicker deer. So we've shot the chamois, we've shot the feral goat, we have got a fellow deer, we've got turkey, we've got rabbit. But um, yeah, we're still, uh, we're missing the sick of deer and the pig at the moment, which I really want to shoot. The chamois look alright, but you know, I don't know, I'm not really after small game like that at the moment. I think the feral goats are a bit better, um, but I can play them. So there's one just down here near the... Oh, we've got a lake. Let's slowly crawl to the lake, but the wind is uh, going to be a real pain in the butt for me here. Every now and again you hear like a cry sound. It must be the chamois that do that sound. Or it's a bird. And there's our outpost. Let's even see the chamois. The chamois. Right, we've already shot one. They did pay all right. Pay's not bad for a small animal. I do have an evil looking face and eyes. Eh? <laughs> uh, I like lakes though. You like investigating lakes. Like we all do it, don't we, in uh, Call of the Wild? Or any hunting game, really. You know, like in classic as well. Oh, down here somewhere, man. 
this will be the first one we've seen sort of on a flat area. All the other ones have been walking up hills. I just heard another, like a goat sound. Maybe they make a goat sound too? I'm a bit confused. I don't know if you can hear that on the stream. There's like a goat bleeding. What is that? Oh, there, look, there. Chamois, chamois. Alright, we've got a couple of them down. I thought they'd be a bit bit more aware of a human being here, but there we go. We found a chamois, a few chamois sitting around the lake. Alright, then we'll hit the outpost and, uh, ooh. Oh wow, look at you go. Man, that put on the burners, that was a different colour, wasn't it? It was like a grey colour. Maybe that was the female? I'm not, I really don't know. I was going to shoot it, but it just like put the burners on. Boom. <laughs> it's out of there, man. Super fast chamois. All right, so... You, I know, you're a female. Wow, look how thick the horn... Oh, no, you're, that's the ears I'm looking at. Oh, that was the horns from it. Look how thick they are. Uh, it's just the ears. So, small horns. I don't know if that was a melanistic one. Or a fur variation. That, that was grey. That was a grey one. Did we miss out on the rare one? Uh, this is a bronze male. Wow, look how small this one's horns are. That's like a baby man, isn't it? What is it? It's a bronze. And we hit the vital organs, so we didn't lose any score. It's just tiny and small. Look at all the blood. Out of this little bloody animal. Oh, look, look. look. What is that? What is that? Yes, come down, meet your friends. They're waiting to see you. Thank you very much. So I've got another one that stumbled off <laughs> down the hill. Oh, you gotta love that. All right, so his, this one's horns were a little bit bigger than the last one, but look, they're 1,098 bucks for a silver. It's not bad. And we've got to have our tumbler friend here. He didn't end, oh, I was gonna say he didn't end up, end up in the water, did you? Close, very close to getting in the water. I was, why was that one just standing there? We just shot. I think there's more of them. Hang on, I missed that one. I think. Man, there was a few of them. That's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, there's one up there dead. Oh, oh, oh. You're, you're spacking out there. I missed ya. <laughs> I'll pop up again. Oh man, that's <laughs> in a weird position. Uh, I think it's, it's on the other side now. Uh, we'll get the ones down here and then walk back up and see what we've done. So there you go. We found a chamois down near the little lake here. Uh, this one's got tiny horns as well. My God, look at that. That is tiny, them horns. That's a little female. All right, so let's go up and see what we've done here. I think we hit one or two. I'm making a few dollars on this hunt, which is pretty good. I'm going to have to buy some more um, bullets for this gun. I didn't realise I'd be using it this much. I thought we'd be using the 303. But uh, yeah, these are all like class 3 and the, the, and the goats and the 303 is class 4 to 8. Why'd they bring out that gun then for this map? It doesn't really suit. Uh, can I get up here? I'm not a chamois. <laughs> I don't know if I can go this uh, steep. Oh my god, I might not even be able to get up here, man. Chamois! <laughs> you little mongrels, I can't get up here. Roll down, you little <laughs> thing, you. Maybe we can get round. 
This silly chamois. All right, we can get it from here probably, hopefully. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. You can do it. You climbed Mount Leviathan. Oh, come on. What do I need? New boots or something? I have no grip. Oh, my God. Like, seriously. They're going to put animals on part of a map I can't even get up. Okay. <laughs> I'll play the game. We'll try one more time. If we can't get it, well, then bad luck. But, uh, let's just run up and let's try and come across. But I don't think uh, humans were made to go on this steep. Oh, oh, come on, get up in that bit there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, might get out a little chamois. Oh, we got him there. It's a gold. There we go, female gold. Three very... Yeah, that's better horns, isn't it? They're a bit bigger. That's a dark brown gold, and we get 10,040. So the females and males, obviously, uh, sort of like the gems box. In a way, you can get gold in all of them, and the that's, female seems to be the biggest one we've got so far. Alright, and that must be all of them. I thought we may have hit another one. But there's no way I can get up there and look anyway. So, we'll go open the outpost and decide where we're going to go. Try and find Sicker Deer. So, I've got the chamois. I've got a few of them now. We've had a good look at them. They're similar to a goat, so... But different also. It's like a slimline goat or something. Uh, I can't see any dead bodies up there, so I think we've got them all. So uh, I thought I hit another one, but obviously I didn't. Uh, the outpost should be this way. Well, that was a bit of fun, finding them around the lake. I remember to buy bullets for this, this gun. So you're going to use the Mosin a lot here or the equivalent. What was that gun they bought out for um, Quattro Kalinas? I can't, I've hardly used it. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but yeah, maybe that gun too you could use. I think that's like a level 3 type gun. I'm still hearing things bleating. Pretty more chamois up the top there somewhere. So yeah, you're going to use this gun a lot. Or, you know, a class 3 gun. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to run out of bullets unless I buy some. But so far, so good on this map. I think we're making a fair few bucks. Making a lot of money. Hunting the little animals. We have to go get another drink again. We're going through it. Alright, where's my little tool kit here? There we go. Alright. Store. And rifle ammo. You probably use the air rifle too on some of them smaller animals. Be nice and quiet. Here we are, that's what I want. Uh, what am I using? I think I'm using. Uh, Oh, they're all, yeah, they only got soft point in these bullets, don't they? So let's get over a hundred of these. Because I've been shooting goats with them, and the chamois. I'm sure the sicker deer, though, we'll be able to use the 303, right? They'd be like a class 4 and up type animal. So we keep running into the little animals. So let's uh, pump up the volume on the bullets. Get a fair few. For me to carry 200 bullets, that's a lot. I usually like I got like 140 or 150, and that seems to be fine. We're overusing this gun today. Let's double check on the 303. How many of them do I have? We are 303 British polymer tip. 148, we'll just buy another couple of packs of them. I don't think we're going to be using that too much today, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's a bummer. I'm just going to go quickly fill up my drink. And uh, we'll be right back. We might pull out the ATV and uh, try and find these other animals we can't find yet.
Oh, my headphones. Oh, that's a tangle. the map I want to see where we've got to go or which way I think we might have to go because I am not sure we've got to find sick deer and pig so maybe here around water right maybe we can uh, take the ATV and we'll go along this road here or yeah, we're probably going to go on the road. I will check out around here. Then failing that, we might be able to shoot up across the other side of the map. Puke Marrero. <laughs> That's a great name, isn't it? you got to love that. So we'll pull out the ATV. Because uh, it's the only way to travel in this game. Maybe one day we'll get horses or something. Or we'll get uh, more powerful ATVs. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think the shaman do a, they do a, like a goat sound. I'm hearing like goat sounds around me. So, alright, that's three k's away, so it's better than walking. So we'll cover a bit of this map today, which I usually don't. Yeah, the Martin's in 6.5. Hey, thanks Peter for dropping in. Hey, uh, you're off to sleep, and yeah, thanks for popping in, buddy. Yeah, it's the Martin's, and I never use it. I was going to call it the Peter Jackson. I knew it had a name. I just can't remember what it was called. Oh, so I've got to go away to this. I can't go up them hills. So let's make sure I'm not um, going into really steep territory here. So this thing won't be able to handle it. As you can see. Put the power on. We go across country. Oh my god. We hit the stump. Don't want to do that too often. noisy these things. Oh, hit the tree. Alright, we'll get there before this thing blows up. I hope. We'll get near there anyway. Alright, we're in the O'Hare. That's how you say that. Alright, 
really doesn't like hills, this thing. That's what I mean, we need a 900cc one, but it just uh, doesn't give a crap about hills. It just goes straight up them. This feels like it's a 250 or 350cc. Something you'd use on a farm. But we are not farming. Oh, is this a road here? No, I thought we were... Oh, stump. Oh, it's a good way to see the countryside. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be a big cliff. Oh, my God. Um, hang on. Let me look at the map, man. Alright, I might go down to the road. And uh, that way we may live. I don't think I'll be able to go over Mount Tahara on this thing, or whatever you call it. So we'll go down. And uh, hopefully we live. I'll try and not go too quick. Ah, it should be fine. Hey, let's go down backwards, man. French hell drivers. Eat your heart out, baby. <laughs> Evil Knievel. Larry Knievel, that was your brother. Larry! Larry! <laughs> oh, Larry! Ah, <laughs> oh, we're safe. We're good. We'll channel Larry Knievel and we'll be fine. I left him in GDA 5. Oh, look at that for driving, man. Steve McQueen would be proud. A great escape on an ATV. Alright, here we are. Tia Tia. Found it harder. I don't know what that said. Oh man, we're in the thick forest. I reckon this is where you find the red deer and the sicker deer. Right, let's check the tracks. What we got? Where'd the tracks go? Oh, the turkey, man. Come on, turkey. You're freaking everywhere. I'm not complaining. I want other tracks. Let's keep going until we find tracks. I'll just turn this uh, volume down a tad so you guys don't go deaf. I'm not looking for a system. Oh, we'll just pop the ATV sound down a bit. I'll turn it back up when we get off of it, when we shoot and hunt. Oh, look at this. It must be night. I see bats. Oh, this is like I expect a werewolf to come out now and attack us. <laughs> Good way of getting around, though. I like the ATVs. I just wish they were a bit more powerful. But well, that'll probably never happen, so just live with what we have. Not a problem. We got any New Zealanders watching? We did have a, a Imogen before. She's from New Zealand. Oh, here's a lake. Let's just get off and have a look before we scare every uh, animal in the in the world here. I've probably already done that a tad. Alright, we find out that I'm going to turn the sound up again. We're still about 2k's away from where I want it to be, but we have found a different area. So we should find... Someone told me in the deep forest, this is where you find a sicker and red deer, they told me. Although, you know... I think they were going by chamois, by um, streamers or something. So if we keep finding them. I don't really want to shoot them in case there's something else around that we scare. So we're just going to let them wander on. Yeah, 
This is one huge lake, man. Pretty big. Let's have a look on the map. Oh, it's just this one here. Try and say that word where we are. It's um, Titea Pan Panamu. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. That is hard to say. I'm no good at other languages, seriously. <laughs> I'd never be a good interpreter. I would start wars. They go, what do they say? <laughs> And uh, there's a ton of, look at the, they're sort of like a half kangaroo, half goat when you look at their photo when it pops up. There you go, that looks a different one. What are you, pie bowl or something? You just, in a weird um, light there. Seems to have a different fur than the other one, so maybe I'm just seeing it weird. Stop spotting. Uh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? This looks a bit different than the other ones. Alright, so we'll travel around this lake and keep trying to head to where I said on the map. Uh, my ATV is back here somewhere. We didn't walk that far away from it, did we? Um, hello. Oh, there you are, right, right there somewhere. Look at that. Pretty nice forest, actually. Alright, I've got a few boulders in here. So, might go around this way. There's always a way through, do not panic. We will always find a way to get through here. We're looking for sick of deer tracks. Once we find some tracks, we'll, we know, you know that, that they're going to be around then. We should be able to shoot a few of them. These are probably chamois tracks, are they? What are these? Yeah, chamois, man. Chamois, chamois, chamois. I want to get out of chamois area now. Oh, there's another lake. We'll have a look at this while we're here. Where's that on the map? Oh, that's, um, the road is down here as well. So we'll get down here, I actually wouldn't mind getting on the road. Oh, they look like really small tracks. Could they be pigs? Could they be pig tracks? Ah, oh, freaking turkey, man. I reckon the turkey pretty much all over the map, guys. So if you like turkey, you're in for a treat. This wasn't where we were before, right? Was it? Is it? Where am I? Nah, we're up that end of the lake. Alright, this is different. This looks the same for a minute. Ah, oh, let's build this and see what it looks like. I oh, mean, we've got a rabbit down there somewhere. So I must have a set of burrows around here. Are you in the grass there? Oh, there you are. I saw a... Oh, there's the holes there. I wonder if I build this, will it scare them? Will it make a sound, do you reckon? Oh, it made a sound. Look at it. It's like a cubby house. Come on, kids. Come into the cubby house. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, can we get up here? Let's even see these bunnies. I, I think I just saw one moving, man. What's the gun on? I put it on 75 from here. Oh, look, there's one. Let's reload. Oh, first time I've actually found a tower useful in this game. Hey, right? usually I don't use them. I've got a couple there dead. We'll get in here and just see if uh, the rabbits come back. Oh, all right, there we are. So nice uh, tower placement actually on this one. We're right over. You didn't use the ATVs 
uh, used to be more powerful than they are now. I'm not sure if they did or not. Um, you could be right there. Maybe they were a bit more powerful. To me, they're always a bit weak, but I'm I'm a motorbike rider from old days, so I like something with a bit of boost on it. <laughs> a bit of power. Something you can... Oh, there we go. Something you can really uh, scare yourself with. All right, so we've got three rabbits so far. We'll just sit here a bit more. So we can get another one or two. One as well. Then we'll check out along this uh, river here a bit. Because that'll take us to the area I want to go anyway. So if we can find some of the other deer, the sicker deer, we need to find them. And I think then, oh, then the pigs. And we found all the new animals um, that exist. Because we already, you know, we know what fallow deer look like. We know what red deer look like. We actually know what rabbits look like. But while I'm here, if they're popping out, I will, I'll take another one or two if they come out. We've got three. So we've already got one rabbit today. So they're not bad if the rabbit's just casually finding them, not really hunting for them. But I did bring the shotgun and the um, 22 pistol because I know there's rabbits and turkeys here. Now, like in the classic, if you wait a few minutes, then you'll get other rabbits and they'll just pop in and out. Like some of them may not heard the shots if they're deep down in the burrow. There was a few out though. There was probably six rabbits out, I reckon. When we first got here. I was surprised that one was just sitting there. Maybe it popped back out the hole. Didn't hear the shots from before. What about long here, man? If we go across too far, that's going to be out of render. We're bound to come across sick of deer, I hope. But some of them look like they've got some uh, decent uh, antlers on them. It'd be nice to see what a gold one looks like. Like, I'm not going to push my luck and say, hey, we're going to get a diamond, because that never happens for me. But uh, we might get a nice gold. If we're lucky. Uh, it's just all, all luck is how it is. All right, we'll go get these rabbits. Looks like uh, the other ones may be scared now. It's nice to see him come out the holes. Like Hirschfeld and I had no luck. And I done five hours above the holes. Which is, you know, like probably two and a half real time hours. And I think I got three rabbits in all that time. I just felt a bit disappointed that they weren't popping in and out more. And people said we well, gotta be there at the right time. Well, you know, I, you know, I think even if you're not there at the right time, rabbits should still be moving around a little bit. Just, you know, that's just my look on things. Like People might think I'm wrong, and that's fine. It's just, I'm, I compare it to the classic, which is probably a wrong thing to do because it's a different game. But, you know, if, you've got to have something to compare it to sometimes. All right, can I get out of here? Thank you. <laughs> Actually, if I got locked in, no! Uh, so let's uh, check the bunnies. Put the shot in our hand just in case uh, one strays out a bit. We'll just put it on 25 because we'll be really close. Alright, so these are probably worth 400 bucks. Yeah, 459. We've got a gold. There you go, nice gold little bunny there. There's its little friend, and you're a silver male. 438. Not the old buddy that was just standing there waiting to, you know, give me target practice. And you're a silver. They're actually a nice model. They're not too bad. And there's the holes. So, you, you can look at the holes, right? It tells you if it's recently used or is that the tracks? Oh, there we go. Used very recently. So it's good you can do that too, I suppose, you, you know. Yeah, so th these were all out. We must be at rabbit time. So these are all used really recently. So we might get back on the ATV, go along this road a little bit, and just see if we can find tracks of um, 
bigger uh, the sicker deer or the pig I could bound to come across one of them but oh, where I leave the ATV the other side of this tower wasn't it so that was lucky coming across them bunnies so there you go that tower is well placed I'll give them that that is a beautiful spot for a tower right above the hole Uh, we can uh, mono over the the burrows. Oh, there was a rabbit. There's another one. Oh, they're out again. What are they doing? They did come back out. See that? Is that a dead one there? Oh, I missed one. Look. There's one here in the hole dead. There we go. We got it. Confirm the trophy. Or did we run that over and kill it? <laughs> I doubt it. That was funny. Man, we're just walking on the holes and they there was like four of them back out. I just, we can run over them with the ATV and it can be like a mono jump. You know, it'd be like a skate park for ATVs. Come on, come out little fellows. I am not here anymore. I'm gone. I'm not here. All right, we'll go. Well, that was funny. As soon as we ran off, they came out. That's like crazy. Did, did they know? Do they have ESP? I don't run over the burrow again. Come on. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go fast though. So. Oh no! <laughs> I had to press handbrake and I, it threw me off. I gotta um, rejig these buttons. Let's see if we can fly over to one of these. Oh look at that! Ah, uh, not too, not too bad, not too good either. Alright, uh, let's get on this road. And uh, try and find a sicker deer. Uh, I should check the tracks. See what we're dealing with. Oh, bloody chamois, man. How come the, the ATV sounds like it's in a cave? The noises it makes. Sounds like you're riding through the cave in the savannah. Oh, it's flat out, mate. 46 kilometers an hour. That's nothing. These really do need a boost. Maybe they need a turbo with some nitrous. <laughs> That'd get them moving. My right, next lot of tracks I'm going to have a look at. Hey, what did I hit there? Oh, these crap. Ooh. I think that was chamois that just ran across the road. Oh, red deer now. Uh, we'll get off the bike now. We're going to have a walk. I don't know if I'm sick of deer tracks. So, red deer tracks. So, we, we have moved, you know, into a different area. Man, they're going to be hard to see if they live in these uh, really thick forests, though, aren't they? Look at that. Oh, I'm wearing camo, although it doesn't matter what you wear, apparently. Um, camo makes no difference in this game. Which is uh, disappointing, I thought it did. <laughs> Until someone told me in the comments, no, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, well, that's... Ah, oh, sick of deer. All right, we've got a male sick of deer, man. So we can use the... 303 on this would have to be okay. We just got to find it. Uh, the wind's a bit of a bummer. I can call it with the. Uh, I was looking before we took off. I can use the. Where's my lures here? I can use. I can use the buck snort, or I can use 
the the D grunt will call it as well. I'm pretty sure they said we'll just double check that. D grunt, white tail, black tail, and sick of D. So let's just make sure I've turned my sound back up again for you guys. I have, it's alright. I think I've actually got spray. Put some deodorant on and uh yeah. Let's see if we can get a sick of deer. Oh there we are, there we are. That's gotta be one. Coming to the call and all. Oh yeah, look at that, my friends. It's not gonna be a gold. Probably be silver. Oh, look at the one behind it, though. <laughs> look at that. We got two. We're going to hang around here a little bit, guys. Now we use the 303. As you can see, it's a pretty sharp, blunt sound, this gun. To me, it sounds a bit blunt. But uh, remember, it's supposed to be an old-style World War One type... Uh, I don't know why I'm pulling this out. I keep thinking I'm in the Hunter Classic. This one looks small. The one behind it looked bigger. And they actually came to the deer grunt. So we heard them and then they came out of that forest there. So we might just camp along this road, do a few calls and see if we can get something coming out crossing the road. Oh, let's check the colour. This looks pretty grey. Could be because we're under the shade. So the brown might look grey here. And there's our, not really big antlers, but they're pretty thick. Uh, you're black, apparently. You're a fur type black. And you are a silver. I thought looking at it, that's got to be silver. That can't be gold. So that's a nice looking animal. We get 1,091. And we got all the ticks. So we hit the heart and right lung. Because once they're facing you like that, you really got to go the heart shot. And we got it in. That's a nice shot right through the heart. And this one, I'm hoping we hit the lung. Was well, sideways to me, so we should have hit the lung. off. It looked a little bit bigger than the one we just picked up. Oh, no. No, no, no. Maybe it's not. This could be a silver also, and it's uh, spotted. Um, yeah, that's, that's way different, isn't it? So they might have fur-type variations. So that is uh, that is way different, man. Oh, you, you are spotted. You are gold. All right, you are a bit bigger than the one. So you're gold. One, three, eight. Oh, you're way off. You're just the gold. You're way off being a diamond. So the diamond ones are going to be huge. One, nine, eight will be a small diamond. So they're going to be huge, the diamonds. That looks nice, doesn't it? The spotted color. So what we're going to do, we're just going to sit back over here we'll get up i'll sit in the shadows here where we're sort of hopefully invisible even though the camo doesn't work now and then we'll sit in the shadows so we're in the dark and we'll do a few deer grunts and just see if anything answers i will just make our way along this road doing that and uh we'll try and bring them out in the clear here so we can actually get a proper look at them when we shoot them yeah, it's probably going to take five minutes for the, you know, we'll put hunting pressure now. Um, and anything that was around is going to take them five minutes to settle down. But we found them. Now we've got to find the pigs. But uh, we have found the sick deer. We've got two straight away. Beautiful. That's the joys of riding the ATV. And I've done the right. So I said we'll come out this side of the map and have a look around this lake and around here. And we're actually... Before we even got to there, we've found sick of deer. That's why I kept stopping and just checking tracks. Um, you know, hoping to find a pig or a sick of deer track. Because once the, like, this has really changed from where we started off in this game. Look how thick this forest is. Look at the, the rays. The god rays through the sun. That is, uh, through the trees. That is awesome. 
There you go, the, the snort weasel and the deer grunt calling the sicker deer. You can't call them the feral goat. Not sure about the chamois. Um, we didn't call the ones we found, we just found them and shot them. The pig should, the hog squealer should work for the feral pigs. And of course, red deer, we have a red deer caller, so we have them here too. So, what we'll do is load up. What am I doing? We'll load up the red deer caller into our thing here. Do I have it in here? So, we've got the deer grunt, we've got the buck snort, we don't need. So, I'm going to whack in the red deer caller in number eight because we saw red deer tracks here. And see if we can uh, fish some of them out of the forest. So now we are calling, it is calling time on the map. We found animals that we can call. And uh, yeah, we'll make good use of the callers and see if we can uh, get anything to call back. Although the wind going this way is a bit of a bummer, but that could change at any minute. So let's just uh, sneak along. Man, that's cool. We found a sicker deer. Quite happy with that. Now all we need is the pigs, and we've done the we've done all the new animals. Unless I'm missing one, I don't think I am. Shammy, sicker deer, feral goat, feral pig, right? They're all the new ones. There's no others. Is there something I'm missing? <laughs> I'm hoping there isn't. There we go. Red deer tracks. They probably come up on this grass and feed. I'd imagine that you'll find feed zones around here for them. I mean, you know, male red deer usually call back really uh, willingly. They're not too quiet. There we go. There's a female red deer, and there there is a zone there. There's uh, another female. The problem with uh, when you see a bunch of female red deer is half the time. There's not a male with him. Sometimes there is, there'll be like one or two, if you're lucky. I'm going to call the sick of deer as well. Alright, so this uh, river uh, lake sort of system is uh, not pay off today. Oh, there's a small male. I don't really want to shoot him. I don't want to stir the area up to shoot that. So we're going to let him be. Like some, you know, you can go around and shoot everything you see. I'm sort of not that hunter anymore. Like I don't want him. He's to me that's, you know, I might get a thousand bucks or seven hundred bucks, but I don't need it. And I might scare off a sick deer that might want to come out. So that uh, red deer is going to live. Now if he was seven, you know, I, I like him seven and above, then I, I can still hear something bleating. I think there's chamois or goats around here. But just in case you're wondering where we are, here, Tia, Taya, Pound Your Mama. I don't, I don't know how to say that thing. That we have arrived. I reckon the chamois. There's all the feral goats or chamois here. I like the look of it too. It looks really. It does look jungly. A bloody jungle out there, man. Come on, sicker deer. We got two. Need another few years. There's the male corn. Oh, that's a female. Sneak up on them and just see if there's a bigger male there. I don't think so. Just that five medium, I think. And, uh, you know, fair enough, but I don't want it. I don't want to scare anything else off that may be here. And the 303, yeah, it's, uh, it's a different sound. The gun, it has a really blunt sort of sound. I 
Well, that's fair enough. Maybe that's how they sound in real life. Man, there are red deer tracks everywhere. Gotta check behind us, eh? A rabbit burrow there? I think we've got rabbit burrows maybe over there. Uh, there's one, there's definitely rabbit burrows there. There we go, red deer females. There we go, oh, he's taken off, so they probably smelt me, or, or maybe they're just on their way. But he's nervous, so he won't be up here now. I didn't want him anyway, so that's good. Like, you can shoot it and hopefully get a better respawn, but on my first hunt here, I, I just want to see if I can get some more sticker D. I'll start shooting everything from Willy Nilly, where they're not going to come. Oh, pig man! Alright, let's uh, bring in the pig caller now. Wild boar caller. I've got it in, number nine. Alright, that's cool. So we might see the different fur variations on the pigs now. Wow, is that echo man compared to the other callers? They should hear that if they had a problem. And the wind is beautiful. Oh, look. Maybe that was a separate bunch of deers I saw walking off. That's a six red deer. All right, that's a bit bigger. I'm not going to shoot it. We're going to look at the feral pigs. So we've got another zone there. So plenty of red deer around this area. And look at the females nice and relaxed. They don't know I'm here. We'll keep our eyes on this side. We'll go near this tree. And that'll protect us a little bit. Let's see if we can see the pigs come out. Be nice to get a spotted pig. No, my life, they're going to come from... Oh, is that... What is that there? I'm probably looking at a log. I don't know. What, it looks... There we are. It is a spotted pig. And what you all right, I can shoot these at the 303 also, because they're a level four animal. There we go. Look at that. Don't they look nice? There's some pork for it. They're all spotted. And a whole oh, there's a black one. I think there at the back. They're all one trivial though. They're all sort of tiny little buggers. Unless there's something big at the back. Maybe that black thing's bigger and it's hiding. Can you spot, buddy? There's two of them there. One trivial. I think they're all one trivial. I'll give it another call and we'll just get them uh, moving across the road. I'll come back near me tree. Ah, oh, that was uh, that's pr it's a pretty good little spot. Exactly everything I wanted is here. Look at him, just there, Are you fat. I might call them back, I think we've got a couple. It's not a bad, it's a different sounding gun, I'll say that, this gun. It sounds so different to anything I've used in this game. I've got two of the little bugs on it. A red deer that were there would have bolted now. Alright, look at that, there's a bit of bacon. Oh, did we only get one? Well, we might have got two. Look at that, man. Look at that pig. That looks like it could get sunburnt if it got too much sun. Black spots, one trivial. Tusks is the trophy type. So, being a female, no real tusks. And that's a, a, is a red deer? That is a red deer female. 
Uh, let's call pigs again. Uh, they could be stupid enough to come back. That was a bit of bad shooting by me. Not a problem, mate. We're here all day. We found a spot for our sick of deer and pigs. So that is awesome. Probably scared the crap out of them, but we'll see. They might come back. So this forest has uh, the animals in it that I was looking for. So now we've got them all. Sick of deer, feral goat, feral pig, chamois. And they're all the new animals, right? They're the only ones. Because the rest of the repeats, fellow deer, rabbit, turkey, red deer. Uh, more red deer. <laughs> the female red deer, you can shoot everything and they they just, they come back. It's like they virtually walk up to you like a pet dog. It's like, what are you doing, man? Oh, look at that one. Oh, you spot seven hard. Dude. Oh, no, I have to put this on 150, I think. Ah, oh, that's it, good boy. That should have been a long shot. Let's go check the blood. That was a nice red deer. Now let's put the burners on. Uh, we used the M1 on that one. Because uh, it wasn't going to muck around. That was surprising. I must have startled them when I shot the pigs. And uh, yeah, they've come across this way. Or ran out of the forest. Something weird. Hopefully we've hit that in the line and not in the shoulder or something dumb, man. I look like I've got a lot of blood there. So this will be a nice looking idea. Yeah, that's a vital hit. Oh, that's a, is that another, that's another male over there. Oh, we're just going to walk. There seems to be a lot of animals around here. Oh, he's down. Our friend's down. We'll reload this. I might just sit on the edge of this road, call everything and see what comes up. Like, um, yeah, it seems like a nice spot. What do you reckon? Pretty cool. Right? It's weird that there's no predators on this map. Yeah, I know, Chase, but um, I suppose we can't have a predator on every map. I'm spewing too. I really love my predators. Like, we have nothing here that can kill us, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And uh, the minister agrees and thinks it needs to be a few man-eating rabbits at least. Yeah, like the one from uh, Monty Python. It's just a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> Next minute, chews his head off. Look at that. They're not bad, are they? For a seven. That is not bad. So let's pick this up. We should get a grand. We get a gold. Nice gold uh, red deer. Look at that. Nice. Nice, uh... Thing to get while we're hunting pigs and uh, sick your deer. And we hit right lung and left lung. So the M1 didn't let me down. It's a beautiful gun, this M1. And that just bullet went straight through it, man. Look at that. If that had been a red deer on the other side of this, it would have hit that as well. And we get 1565. So we're going to get back on this side of the road. I'm going to give it another minute now for this uh, area to calm down. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit in these trees over here. And we'll see what we can uh, dredge out. We're going to wait a minute or two, though. Going to let the area calm down. Because it'll be starting to get in red now. I don't want to stop the animals coming out. And it gives me a time to have a drink here. Before I run out of voice. That was a nice red deer. Very nice. Now, I'm going to give it a minute, then we're going to call red deer, sick of deer, and pig. And whatever pops out, as long as it's big enough, right? If it's a five medium red deer, I'm not shooting it. If it's a six red deer, I'm not shooting it. 
Maybe the trivial pigs I'll shoot just to collect a couple of them and show you them. But I'm hoping for another gold uh, sick of deer and us. I just uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Be right back and. Uh, by then, this area will, will calm down just a little bit. Everything won't be as nervous. And we'll start calling. If nothing happens, we'll keep traveling down the road here slowly. It's a nice spot. That's nice, let it all calm down. I gotta say, my first impressions of this map so far, uh, that's pretty cool. It's not bad. Wow, that really echoes that pig caller through here. Now right, we'll go to our, oh, not our binoculars, we'll go to our buck caller. Go to a fast crouch. And our red deer friends. So that's why you don't shoot the five medium. Because <laughs> you might not get the seven. So that's a nice first up red deer to get on this map. A nice seven like that. Look very impressive. So I still hear like goats bleating in the forest there. Hey, here's some weird noises, I tell you. I don't know if it's the bird life that maybe I'm hearing. Could be. I want another, uh, another couple of sick of deer, big red deer, and a big pig. Wouldn't that be nice for the hunt? There was another male red deer, but it could have been that um, that level six or five that we saw earlier that I don't really want. Check the time over, it's not going, I fit, time flies in this game. I'm so used to the Hunter Classic now, where it just sort of, it really dribbles along the time. It doesn't go too fast. There's no night cycle in that game, so I'm sure that's why they slowed time down in that game. If you start out in the morning and go till late afternoon in that game, it'll take you like five hours, I reckon. Well, this does move a lot quicker. So 
the wind's good now. Blowing straight at my face on this side, so if you get anything walking out of there, it won't smell us at all. So I'm just going to slowly move along. There's bound to be more than one uh, herd of pigs and one herd of sitja and, you know, red deer and so on. I think that'll be the biggest red deer we probably see all day, that one. That's usually my luck with the red deer. If I get something like that, that'll be the best of the day. That's, that's fine too. I'm happy with a red deer like that. To me, that's a, a good one. You know, that's a good one to get. Come on, piggies. I thought you might be silly pigs and come nearly straight back, but obviously you're not. You're nervous pigs. Let's just check the back. I don't see any antlers or any spotted pigs moving. So that whole herd though, except for one black one, were virtually all spotted pigs. They look really cool though. They remind me of a Dalmatian dog. You all know what they are, don't you? A Dalmatian. Should check the lake as well. I'll just uh, I just want to go slow though around this area. So they probably only come down the lake area at a, at their feeding time, whenever that is. We'll get up now. We'll just uh, not run and have a look at the lake. And with the cold a lot there, something might start to come out. It's good that the deer grunt calls a sicker deer or the snort weezer. Whatever you prefer using. I prefer the deer grunt. The snort weezer does sound really weird. Calling the wildebeest. Oh, we may have uh, lit this area up a bit. Remember, we have the big lake here as well. So we'll check along that. Oh, we have some rabbits <laughs> at the back there as well. Already got, what, about five rabbits today, which is pretty good. I didn't really expect to get any of them today, so I've been very lucky. And a couple of turkeys. <laughs> yeah, I love the turkey. Oh, there's, oh, should we go there and open that up to see what it is? It's usually one of those like uh, rocks that give you a thing. Tells you something about the area. There you go, you can cross the river. But I think, oh, look at the rock there. That's a weird one. It's probably part of a mission or something. Who knows? Like I said today, we're not doing the missions. The, the, the missions are your missions. They're for you to do. Oh, there's a nice red deer, an eight mythical. You're kidding me, man. Oh, I'm just saying it doesn't get better than the seven. Usually for me. I have to stay on this side because the wind's a killer. And I've got one over there as well. And we've got a little herd over there. What have we got? Uh, yeah, it's them smaller ones. I want the eight mythical. Now, worth coming down and look at the lake. If we can get that, is that him moving through there? Oh, come on, buddy, buddy, buddy. How far away are you, man? Oh, mate. You're going to give me the hardest shot in the world, aren't you? You're going to come out there. Where'd you go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, did he go down again? Come on, buddy. Give a few lusty calls. If not, I'm going to have to walk over there. 
Mm. So I'm gonna find him. He's below that ridge. I thought he'd run along the line, and we might get him as he, you know, came out there. I think he's gone down. I'm gonna be really careful here. Red deer is skittish. Nah, ain't mythical. That at a uh, top the hunt off. He could be heading for that area there. That could be a zone. Maybe he's headed there. That's why I ignored the call. We can hope because we get a nice shot if he comes out here. But they're all small red deers. We don't want them. So yeah, they say uh, New Zealand has really big uh, red deer. Uh, so you're from uh, New Zealand, Useless Gaming? It's so close to Australia, but I've never been to New Zealand. I actually don't have a passport. <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't get one one day. Oh, I'm not sure. Do we still need a passport to go to New Zealand? We never used to. They used to let Aussies in your country and New Zealanders into this country without a passport. I'm not sure if they change that now. Let's see if we can find that eight mythical because damn, that'd be the best animal animal of the day. And here comes the fog right on cue, the mist. He was moving though. He was in a hurry, wasn't he, that mythical? Like seriously, dude. If we had a cop thing crossing that lake, we would have been fine. Had it made my mind up to come down here a couple of minutes or five minutes earlier. And I got a beautiful clear shot at him, but I'm hoping he's going to that zone. Because he was going so fast. That maybe that's where he was going. He thought he'd run over here and join these guys. Man, look at them all. I'm hoping he shows up. Oh, what was that at the back? Yeah, look. See the antlers at the back? There, what's, what's that? What's that? Another seven. Where'd the eight go? Let's just pop over here first and see if we can see the eight. Man, a lot of red deer. It's pretty cool. This might end up being one of my favorite red deer uh, areas to hunt. I don't have a lot of luck on Hirschfelden. I think Quattro Cleanus, I had a bit of luck. I do not freak out my red deer friends. It's, we're nearly at where he ran down. But he could have went anywhere. This is the problem. He was moving so fast. And he haven't, if he hasn't stopped to go to a zone to eat or drink or whatever the hell these bloody things do, we'll go after the seven. I thought he'd run along the top here and we'd get a, you know, get a shot at him. That can't be it. It's got to be bigger than a 210. Mythical, would not it? Sick of deer. Is it, so they're, they're on that side. Oh, come on. Where are you, 8 Mythical? There's another sick of deer. We've got a, a feeding zone for it now. A drinking zone. I might have to go for the 7. I think we may have lost our eight mythical guys. Through no fault of my own, except for bad timing. Yeah, there's a couple of them over there, about two minor threes. We've got one across the river. I imagine, yeah, there we go, they cross here. So if I was lucky enough, that eight mythical would have been crossing like that. And we would have got a nice shot in. So that one's obviously coming over here. Oh, we're going back to look for the 7 now. This could end up being a whole cluster F. 
and nothing might come off. We're gonna try it. Uh, I'll end up with the whole bunch of females running up to me like lap dogs. Can I? What's going on, man? <laughs> and I'll spook and everything will run. Uh, let's uh, see what we can see. It's really nice when you see those big antlers though moving through and it. it just, that brings your hunt up alive. You go, yes. I seriously, at this point, I'd rather the big uh, red deer than a, a three very easy Sitka deer. Let's see if we can see that seven. Where'd they go? They're over there. Oh man, have they moved now? Oh, that's a, not a bad Sitka deer. This is gonna be a, uh, yeah, man. Let's just poke out these trees and see if we can see them. I reckon I've lost all the big red deer. I've probably lost the seven and the eight mythical now. I probably should have settled, kept calling and got the seven out. I'm not worried about the eight mythicals gone, I think. Are all the red deer gone? Grazing. Oh, what, what have we got there? Three. Well, they actually respond to the call, don't they? Like they just stop. Let's check up here. Check my map. I reckon the red deer have moved. So we might give these guys a little uh, crunch. <laughs> Alright, we'll get them. I'm still not leaving this area just yet. There's too much going on. So uh, we'll grab these. Maybe set a tent up in that area, but yeah, well, I may have to eventually. I, I don't have one on me, but uh, yeah, it's a good idea. All right, this one's a black. I think they're both black, but only small, but now we've got four Sitka deer. We, oh, right on the rabbit burrows they were. That's a good idea. Kevin, I won't have to do that. Good to see you, man. How you going, Kevin? Sika deer, eh? They're one of our top draws. Beautiful animals. And a good deal brighter than their red cousins. Speak to be kept on your toes. I should have tried to get that guy out of, um, you know the New Zealand guy who does the movies with the rock and that when they're on that, uh, I don't know what that, that movie's called. They have one not long back, Jack Black, The Rock. And you got the New Zealand guy, and they go to that island where they all change bodies and stuff. What is that movie called? I've seen two of them with me, so I don't even know what they're called. I should have um, got him to do the voice. Would have been easy. That Reese, whatever his name is. I oh, know he would have cost a lot of money, I suppose, so to get him. So you know, obviously, probably an expensive pick to get him. Yeah, be a tent round here be nice. But I'll start doing that on my next hunt. You know, I don't want to do stuff like that in my stream anyway. Set up my map. I'll do that when I'm not uh, streaming in that. I'll stride around the ATV and pop tents down. This river crossing here, bit it's a beauty. That's where that mythical would have ran across. And uh, unfortunately, I was on the other side and just saw him run up here and then disappear. And we were originally coming here to get this when I saw it, so let's inspect There's it. There's a lot of meaning crammed into that word. We let the local iwi and hapu guide our conservation practices here at Te Awaroa. 
All right, so that, that was pretty short and sweet. All right, it says, I don't know, kata kata tanga is a Maori word for, Maori word that can be translated as guardianship or preservation, a complex concept. It refers to methods of safeguard and resources for the future generations through preserving the Maori or life force of the land. Some examples include enforcing Rahuai or restrictions on the harvesting of food in certain seasons or areas, taking only what's needed and hunting and fishing for food rather than sport. Conservation Conservationists in New Zealand work closely with the Iwi and Hapu tribes and sub-tribes to uphold that big word. The philosophy can be summarised in the Maori saying Ko atu ti awawa, I don't know, Ko ti, oh bloody hell, I'm the river, the river is me. So yeah, there we go. This is an interesting area, we've got the rabbits, uh, we've got the pigs, we've got big red deer every now and again, and we've got the sicker deer who really do like the deer grunt. That stopped them two in their tracks. I was surprised when I shot the first one, that happened the first time, the other one just stood there. So I was able to get the shot off. What I might do, and let the area settle down, I don't run over here and just see what this big lump of thing is. Why not? Let's have a little exploration during the hunt. Then we'll come back and man, we just saw an eight mythical red deer and I have no idea where it is. <laughs> well, like I said, usually if I get a seven, that's it for the day. That'll be my best red deer. We did see an eight mythical, but oh uh, yeah, we didn't get it. <laughs> didn't even get a shot in, man. But, uh, not a problem. You gotta just, you know, whatever. Next time. He's still on the map, so he's still here. And he obviously lives around this area. So I know where he lives. So we got we got a foot in the door there on that one. But uh, let's check this out. Might as well do a bit of exploration while we're here. And show a bit of the island. Or the reserve. The sky looks a lot like Australian skies, actually. And so we're going to get a bit of rain later. This uh, deep, dark forest bit over there on that side holds a lot of animals in it. And they just come out on this grass to to graze and that's the female red deer on the other side so some of them red deer may have ran across or it could be another herd as you know red deer is always in a, in a herd mainly let me just notice the salting my microphone stand here there we go it's better I want to see what this is but if we don't have collectibles anymore on these maps you know, I know it's only a little whatever that you used to collect, but it was just something, a bit of interest. You go to a little area like that, and uh, I think, what was it? Savannah was the last one we had collectibles, I think. But hey, let's see what this is. I don't think the Maori's built it. It's probably just the natural formation. It's actually a nice area around here. You sort of have the beach there. Let's see if we've got sand on it. I'm enjoying this uh, hunt. I didn't think I'd, I'd, I'd enjoy this map this much because, like, you said in there, no predators. Oh, I'm good, mate. I'm good, Kevin. Probably the best I've been all year because we're out of, uh, you know, pretty much out of lockdown here in Australia. Still got some dumb rules that are, apply. But, uh, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, yeah, but I'm um, better than I've been all year, I think. It's been one of those years where I think it's affected everyone uh, in, a, in not a good way. they got to take what you can. There's more uh, rabbit burrows over there. There's going to be a lot of burrows around here on this map. Oh, can we get here? I have to just run around a bit. And I'm actually happy I'm streaming now at the moment. I've really stayed away from it for a long time. A lot of people told me I should stream. And, uh, yeah, I was happy making my videos and just doing 20 minutes here and there. And, you know, and then 
Once I started streaming, I actually like the interaction. And I think it's just a good way of uh, connecting with everyone that uh, comes to my channel. I get to see a lot of people's names that I've seen in the comments and have a bit of a chat with them. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. But I am trying, I'm hoping the stream, you know, to you guys is looking really good. I played around after today, I had a little test. And I'm trying to get it 1080p, you know, 60 FPS, because I, I dropped the bit rate and it was coming out at 720 at 60. But no, I want it 1080. So I'm hoping it looks good for you guys. And uh, Dayton's there in Canada. They are starting to crack down hard. Yeah, I know that, mate. Canada, America, England. Um, parts of Europe, they're all cracking right down now. But see, Australia, we're all locked down pretty much all winter, mate. Uh, it was horrible. Like in Melbourne, there was, I don't know, three reasons you were allowed outside the house, or four, it was to go to shopping, go to the doctors, uh, go to care for someone, and there might have been one more reason, and you weren't allowed to have anyone around your house, and... Oh, blah, blah, blah. You weren't allowed to travel more than uh, five kilometers away from your house. It was just all these rules, man. And if, they, if you got caught breaking them, it was like a $1,500 fine or some stuff. Like they've been really hard on us. It was really, what do you call it, Author authoritarianism. You know, they really, I don't know, it just seemed like a whole, I woke up in some sort of communist utopia. <laughs> it's horrible. It sort of brought me right down too. I didn't feel, um, yeah, you know, I just felt sort of bad inside. Not depressed, just, um, I don't know, just I didn't feel right. Alright, so we'll go back to where we sort of were. I might have a look up here where we saw the bunny holes and we heard some red deer. Alright, I'm going to have to find how to. How did I get here again? <laughs> What am I doing? Have I, have I snaffled myself? Uh, oh man, that looks deep. <laughs> what have I done? Oh! <laughs> I'm dead! Uh, it threw me back on the same side. Come on, map, give me a break. Uh, it was probably over here I ran. Man, that was deep. <laughs> it took a foot more and, and you were underwater. That is crazy. Yeah, I feel sorry for you there, uh, Dayton. I know exactly what you're going through, and it's not nice. And uh, right on, right on the door of Christmas too. It's uh, that sucks. That sucks hard. But I uh, make sure you still see your family and friends. You know, even if they tell you not allowed to, or I'm not telling anyone to break rules, but you know, just uh, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Just to get yourself through. Uh, let's see. We had the rabbit burrows up here. We did hear red deer. So we'll call red deer and sicky deer again. Mate, that ain't mythical before. I still can't get that out of my head. Seriously, that's a nice deer. Best red deer I've seen in ages. Yeah, you know, bad luck that we didn't get a shot off on it, but I know where it lives. I will be back to see it. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, it's a nice map. It's actually not a bad hunt, even though we don't have the predators, and I, I get it. I love predators. But I, I don't think New Zealand doesn't have predators. Like, I don't think they've got anything. They don't even have snakes or deadly spiders. They have nothing. So, uh, you know, they're just living true to what the map is, I suppose. Uh, you go out the bush, walk around all over New Zealand. Nothing can kill you. You know, you get hit by a car, that'll kill you. <laughs> no animals, that'll kill you. Hopefully, you know, within a year, I'm hoping we get a, an Australian map, it'd be nice. 
but we'll see. Uh, you know, <laughs> I think in less and less they're going to hold off on that for a long time. I'm not sure we're <laughs> going to see an Australian map for a very long time. I keep hearing goats or chamois. Like you walk around and you keep hearing, you know, something barring in the distance. Meh. It's pretty constant, actually. Uh, we haven't been on this side, so... As you can see, it's... Uh, oh, that has a name. Look. I don't know, Toka Paka Kuru Cleaved Rock. Alright, so yeah, we haven't, we've, we went over there, we haven't been, we'll check out over here, we've got a little lake there. We'll check out as much as we can today. Of course, we won't see the whole map, which is good anyway, I usually open them up slow. I am eager to see, you know, I like seeing the new animals. And we've seen them all, we've, we've shot everything. So that is really cool. Even a, a spotted pig. We got a spotted pig. I'm pretty sure the eight mythical now is on the other side. So he will live to fight another day. I'll we'll call pigs. We had sick deer come across this side and across the river, so they must be on this side as well. So hopefully we'll run into a few more of those. We've gotten four so far, one was gold. Everything else was silver or bronze, I think, or just all silver. But I think if you see a diamond one of them or a huge gold, they are going to look impressive. They're going to look pretty cool. But, uh, there's something in the tree. But the countryside's pretty nice. You reckon the storyline missions could have a cargo plane full of wolves and bears crash on the reserve, <laughs> and you have to hunt them out? Well, that that'd um, yeah, uh, that that that'd be a good storyline. Um, but uh, that's uh, never going to happen. So <laughs> and I, uh, I get where you're coming from, Minister. Would be a good one. Oh, but I suppose you know, there's hunters out there that like a map that does that, that doesn't have a predator on it, so they can like do this, and then they go, oh, "I'm going to the toilet. I'm going to make a sandwich. I'm going to do this. So I'll be back in half an hour. When they come back, they're still alive." So I suppose there's hunters out there that they like not having a predator on a map, and. Uh, I suppose expansive worlds has got to cater for everyone, and like New Zealand doesn't doesn't have predators, so you know, I'm not you know I'm not going to have any bones about it. It's just the way it is. But yeah, you know, if if I want predators, I just go hunt the beef, go after some cape or water buffalo. And they're always trying to kill me. They just hate me, so I love them. <laughs> I love an animal that hates me. Uh, that's a female, I think. So it could have males with her. We'll just go slow. Man, that thing's echoing through the forest, the, the caller. Ah, oh, look at that tree. With a lump in it. So we're going back into the dark side of the forest here. So you see the god rays coming through the trees. Oh man, I don't, I don't know if you can hear that, but every time I do that, there's an echo, like um, way over there. Right, let's see what we can see. So hopefully we'll see some big antlers behind her. We'll see that eight mythical are gonna be awesome. I can't see anything, it's that thick. And she's standing behind a tree. Like so far all the females have had a male with them, pretty much. So 
you know. Who knows? We'll sneak up. Oh, oh, gee, it's just in front of me somewhere. Let's give her another call. The wind is horrible. Hear it? Can you hear the echo? Ah, oh, that is so loud in here. So loud. Yeah, that's right, Minister. It needs to be realistic. Like they like to put the right animals on the right maps, which is fair enough. Like yeah, you can't have gorillas here. That that would look good bouncing from tree to tree, but we just can't have them. And they'd be vicious. Gorilla, gorillas, are, but see, they'll never put like gorillas or elephants, probably tigers in a game because they're you know endangered. Then they'd be scared that the World Wildlife Fund or some other lobby group of morons would go off about a game. Oh, you're encouraging people to shoot elephants. Well, no, you're not. It's a game. You know. Because <laughs> all these people don't understand gamers. Look at that. That is a nice ray coming through there. So, you know, I don't know. It'd be nice if they made a map that, um... Had some pretty extincty sort of animals on it that were really vicious and wanted to kill us. I wouldn't mind shooting at elephants. That'd be awesome. You need a big elephant gun, of course, but, you know. I'm sure they'd sell us one. We'd be able to use the nitro. They'd put a hole in the elephant, I reckon. <laughs> Maybe the 338. I don't know if it'd be ethical, but <laughs> put a hole in it. We gotta check out this lake. Tigers would be good, but I reckon they're never gonna put them in the game. Even if they do another Africa map. Gorillas, that'd be awesome, man. Imagine a big silverback coming down and you had to shoot that thing. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be awesome. But it's never going to happen. They'd be too worried about the, you know, about what other people wrote about the game or said. They'd be scared about bad press or something. Instead of saying, well, it's a game, the people are shooting pixels. <laughs> Who cares? Doesn't matter. One thing, when you're in this forest, you're not going to see a lot unless you, you see your movement go across. It was just stand there behind a tree. Here we go. Oh, pig, piggy, 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 piggy. It's a warning call, but it's just there. I wonder if they attack. Here, piggy, piggy, where are you? A pig will be all right. I like the pigs. I can hear it, it doesn't sound far away. Just that this brush is so thick. Unless it pops out, uh, you're not really gonna see it that well. Give another call. I've only shot one pig, we did see a little herd and I shot really bad at him. I may have injured another couple, but I didn't really check. I can get this one to pop out somewhere here. Although I did do a warning call, the wind is sort of blowing that way a tad. So I could have blown my cover. Not that I was really using any cover. <laughs> It'd be nice to get another couple of those. Oh, there, there. What's that? Yeah, there they are, there. Look, there's a spotted one. There's one moving there. See there, we can see one. I think I can see its head. It could go a brain shot. Right there. It's running. 
Hopefully I hit that one in the head. Man, they're hard to see. Oh, we'll see. oh there's a zone there, so maybe they're in a pig zone here. Oh, one is down. We got the head one, so that has gone down. Let's pick up this zone. Yeah, red deer zone. All right. I don't know if I shot the other one. I was running over the hill and I just shot at its butt. So this isn't a spotted one. This is just like a pig pig. Look at that. It's not a bad model. Silver. We hit the left scapula, left lung. Humorous. Oh, went over its head and into its lung. Nice shot in the end. That's a good model. Look at that. That's a pretty good looking pig. Only short little legs on it. And we're going to get 922. So I've yet to hit a male one of these because you they're scored by the tusk. And the male will have bigger tusks. Let's see if I hit this one in the butt. There was one running off this way. I don't think I did because it was just like a shot in the dark, really. Just now, this could have been it here. Feral packs may look all cute and cuddly, but you get on their bad side and you'll get nothing but a sore rump for your troubles. And they're voracious feeders too, so no need to ask for my permission to shoot on site. Ah, uh, so, you know, because they're feral. Uh, they've all run this way. Let's just slow down a bit and call. I'm here. I thought I heard something run there. There they go, there they go. I don't know if I hit that. Oh man, that's so hard to see. And it's undergrowth. The quick and the dead, mate. They were pretty quick. Oh. Come on. Show me yourself. Did we hit that? Oh, get up, get up, man, get up, get up, Avatar. Oh, yeah, we got, he's down. We got that one. Their little feet make a lot of sound when they run through here. It's pretty funny. This is a historical hunt. We do not condone the modern day slaughtering of elephants, tigers, etc. Yeah, I know they don't, but, you know. In a game, I think it's all fine, man. I just think don't think we'll ever see it in this game. There we go. Right lung. So the oh no, hang on. Yeah, the sport I can use it's a four, so it's it's a good gun to use on the pigs. And it seems to do a good job on them. Another female. I still haven't got a mark one of these, man. I want to see how big the tusks are. Let's run out this way and see if I can see any blood. I did shoot another one, but I doubt I hit it. They're running that fast. Uh, now, where is... We're not going to worry about them. Where is my um, waypoint this way? Let's go check this little lake. Look at this area here. This looks nice, doesn't it? With the little... Um, with the tree ferns or wherever these things are supposed to be. These ones look like sort of some sort of palm tree. Or well, not a palm, I don't know what you'd call them. Oh, cool. Alright, uh, we do have a road here. I'll we'll go down here and uh, I'm going to just throw out a few calls while we're walking. Oh, there, there, there. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got the... Oh, there's a couple on. I shouldn't have pulled off there. Man, this thing has a bit of a kick to it, though. Oh, we got one, I think. So the pigs are always in a little group, obviously. Looking at them. So it's, this one could be a... It's a male, maybe. It was a dark pig. It's our first dark one that we've killed. 
So let's see what it is, man. Hopefully it's a good one. I could do a throwback historical hunt scenario. Yeah, they could from the 1800s. But, um, and put a disclaimer in. Like, so, look, I, I was, I suppose we got to hunt lions, but lions aren't extinct. And I think they're in danger of going extinct at the moment, so it's pretty fine. Oh, look at this one. It's like a black spotted brown pig. Please be a male, although the tusks don't look big. All right, you're a male. Oh, you're a, a brown hybrid. Okay. There you go. Look at that. This is our best pig, actually. A three, very easy. And it's going to be worth 1,053. Got all our ticks. See, a, a nice big diamond one of these would look awesome in your lodge, wouldn't it? Even a big fat gold one. Hope they bring us some more multi mounts that we can have some of these new animals on. I think it'd be awesome. So I'm still heading towards me lake. So got a few pigs on the way there. I'm just hoping at the lake we might see a red deer and uh sick of deer down here. But like Kevin said before, I'm gonna have to set up some tents. But I'll do that when I'm not streaming. I'll just ride around on the ATV and I'll come back, you know, to that spot we were earlier and I'll whack a tent down and, you know, put a few over the map. I haven't done that for a while on any of the maps after the beaver fell on the tents everywhere and sort of ruined all my hard work. <laughs> I went, ah! <laughs> uh, drove me crazy, man. Doing all that. Then it's like, oh, yeah, well, a beaver fell on your tent. It's like, why? Uh, beavers don't even exist in this <laughs> in this forest bit here. Why are they doing falling on tents? Maybe they're parachuting out air <laughs> helicopters or aeroplanes. Oh, we've got a um, stand. We'll we'll put that up. A tower or a stand or whatever the hell it is. Man, look at the f mist here. Fog mist. I don't know what this stuff is. But it's like the lake is almost invisible. Oh, there it is. We'll, we'll put that up. Right, so far, so good. I was hoping I'd have a good hunt on my first hunt here. Like, I nearly came on it last night. I went to buy it, and one of my kind subscribers had already bought it for me. They gifted it to me. Uh, you know, I, I had a nap, and I go, oh, yeah, that map will be out. I'll go buy it. So I logged on the Steam and uh, went to buy it, and I already had it as a gift. So that was very nice. And I thought, no, I won't hunt. Because by the time I downloaded and that, it was after midnight. I thought, I won't hunt or even go on this map until today when I'm streaming a few guys. So this was my very first, you know, look at the map. But like I said, we're not doing the missions, you know. I'm going to leave that. That's up to you guys to do your own missions. I don't want to spoil it for you. And, uh, yeah. I think at the end you'll get a skin for this, uh, the 303. Um, I'm not that interested. I'm happy with, you know, this 303 looks all right. Oh, we can't see it. Okay. Um, yeah, the 303 looks not too bad. Like this one. Like, pity we can't get to see it. Okay. You should get a little look at it when I pull it out like that. Uh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's another cubby house. Let's have a look. I never use these towers really in, in the game. These ones seem a bit better. You've got the front bit. And then you have... That looks like it f could fit two people, doesn't it? You know, it looks bigger than all the other towers we've ever had in the game. So, I, I don't know if you can have two people in it just looks like you could fit two people. Should be hunting beavers as well? We probably should be. But I don't think that happens anymore, does it? That beavers don't fall on your tents anymore? Is that stopped? Is that over now? I don't think they fixed that bug. As I spent hours putting tents around late in lakes and 
I don't know, Hirschfelden and that, you know, on the ATV and yeah, I can't one day I come back and I just said, Oh Beaver fell on all your tents type of thing. I'm like, What? <laughs> and I think all the tents disappeared and I never got them back. I had to buy more tents. I go, damn your game. Oh, what's the time? Oh, that's a male red deer. Uh, I'm calling him, man. Okay, get down. Get down and get with it. Should I stay in the tower and shoot at him? Maybe I'll get a clearer view. We might try that. We might try the tower. We never use... Oh, well, I don't. I never use them. But today may be the day that we get the beautiful red deer from the tower. Let's give it a shot, man. Let's get in here. So this will protect us. It won't... The animal won't be able to see us too good. So we'll get in the door. <coughs> and let's see. So it should be coming from this way. All right, visibility's good. Check if our binoculars. Binoculars, man! <laughs> binoculars, let's see what we can see. Uh, I think maybe I prefer being out here on the on the actual step. Oh, now I'm on the step. Okay, damn you, tower! Uh, it kicks you right out. So we might shoot from the step, actually. Is that him? That's a female. I might have a little herd here somewhere. I want to see big antlers coming across. I'm not like a level five or six. That won't do it for me. <laughs> hey, Welsh Hunter, how you going? You got the skin from the missions for the 303. What's it like? Is it a good one? How you going, Haggis? Is the skin okay? <gasps> there he is. Hello. We'll come very quick. And you died very quick. Oh, that's probably a female corn. So the tail worked good, as you can see. This is only like a six level deer, uh, level I suppose. Six uh, hard. No way, it's a seven. It is a six hard silver. Oh, oh yeah, we got left lung, right lung on the second shot, and then we hit right lung on the first shot, so we get all our ticks. 15.30, so you've got this skin there. Yeah, it looks good, cool. I did see it in the shop, it's locked, so it's the one that's locked, yeah, that uh, you have to get. Oh, did you stream Singapore? Sorry about that, mate. Didn't know you were streaming today. Well, I had to. This is my first uh, touchdown on the map, so I had to have a stream today for my first hunt. It's been a good hunt. We got everything. Chamois, feral goat, feral pig, sick of deer. All the new animals, we got them all. And, uh, yeah, that's not a bad uh, map. I didn't do any of the missions, just open up the... I oh, had a hunt with Nitro and Ranger. Oh, cool. And you streamed it? You stream on Twitch, though, don't you? Or do you stream on YouTube? Or do you stream on both? Maybe you're a multi-streamer. Uh, Stream's looking good on here. Uh, bolstered up the up the megabits and uh, yeah got it back to 1080 <laughs> uh, 60 frames Twitch oh that's alright we weren't really competing I think there's a different crowd on Twitch than uh, YouTube well, the only time I go to Twitch is to 
see one of you guys. Like, I'm never on there. I usually watch all my streams on our YouTube. So I don't think we would have been in competition. I think it would have been fine. Another male. Let's call that one. It's actually been a good stream. A lot of people have popped in and out. It's been awesome. And the first pack of feral goats I saw, we, we had a goat massacre. Have you seen all the goats in the river? It was just crazy. <laughs> I was shooting the crap out of them. And we did get a gold um, Sitka deer. It was spotted, I think. A spotted one. And we've seen black ones. I got a nice seven red deer. And then after that, we saw an eight mythical that ran across the top of the hill and disappeared. And then I, as I was trying to find the eight mythical, I saw a seven. And then by the time I come back to look for the seven, they were all gone. So, but we did get one red deer seven. So, and that was a beautiful looking gold. Uh, you're a small five or six, aren't you? You're only tiny. You're a five. This is where you need a bow and arrow that I never use. We've got another red deer. You're a female. We've got another male red deer, though, out this way. I keep hearing, like, them chamois or goats keep making noise. Let's have a look at him. He's going to come right up. Oh, going to run. He's, uh... He spotted me, man, that one. No way he smelt me because uh, the wind's good. Let's see if we can get this one. There's apparently another male over here that called. Ruthie seemed pretty good on this map, Haggis. Uh, I imagine it would be a, a good hunt here. Uh, between three, he's got 35 pigs. Very nice. Yeah, you start off at Burnish 303. Once done missions, you have access to the laminated and polymer. All right, they're the ones I've seen locked. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the brown version, the one that wasn't locked. It still looks all right to me. I'm happy with that. But I wasn't going to do missions on the stream in case, you know, the console players, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Like I just opened the outpost and the first lookout and that was the end of the missions for me. I didn't go and take the photos or do anything. Because I don't really want to do spoilers for people who either don't have their hands on it or haven't started the missions yet. I just wanted to come out and have a hunt and just show the animals, you know. Something moving over there. Ah, sick of deer. Free very easy. Uh, let's give him a little toot on the horn. I could probably shoot through there, but I'll be shooting like through a window thing. I might do is get down the steps. Hello. That's one of the spotted ones. They look pretty cool. It's like black neck spotted body. And they really like the deer grunt. Look, he's coming straight to the deer grunt. <laughs> I got the heart shooting, I think, on that one. We gotta pick it up. These lakes are pretty cool. You just sit around here, man. It's cool. The animals, they pop out of the woodwork. Hey? Eh? Beautiful. And these sick of deer really love the deer crown. I think you can use the weezer on it too. The snort weezer. I just don't like the noise the snort weezer makes, so I bought the. Rather use the deer grunt. Uh, 
Uh, there is spotted. I actually like that. I'd like to get a really big one for the lodge. And you're only a silver. But they do look nice. Look at that. I like that. And you're not a male, are you? What are you? You're a female. We'll go back to our tower. We'll keep calling. Hunt a little bit more, then I'm going to uh, stop and go have a shower. <laughs> I haven't had a shower today. I'll end up smelling. I think this is the best red deer map uh, we might have in the game, though. Actually, the amount of red deer I've seen in here, and it's seen a few big ones. I think it's a... Uh, this is a good red deer map, man. I do like my red deer, so... You know. I like the turkey. I actually got maybe five rabbits today off this map. So that's pretty, without looking for them. Just sort of bumping into them. <laughs> one tower is right near... Uh, Near that lake one tower is right above a, a bunch of burrows. They picked a really good spot to put the tower on. I sat it in the tower shooting out of it. Getting the rabbits. I've left an ATV out there somewhere. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh man, time goes so fast though on this map. Wish they'd slow it down now. I'm so used to the Hunter Classic that it's just flying by, man, the time on this map. I already restarted the game once. Now, well, I'll put it at quarter past five the second time in the morning. Pretty awesome, though. It's a good map. i got to say, it's not a bad map. It's not a disappointment. And, you know, we, we haven't seen a lot of it. We did do a lot of riding on the ATV. We did start here. And so we, we shot all the goats there and here. Then I got sick of the goats. Remember, I said too many goats. We come up there and got chamois. Um, that's probably a female. Yeah, we come up there and got chamois. And then we got on the ATV and rode uh, across country. Down the here, and we got our first sicker deer. Then we got sicker deer and red deer, and now we're here getting red deer and sicker deer again. We got pigs in between both these areas and walking here. So we've still got to see this part of the map here, this corner here, at the back here. That's still in the map, isn't it? Is that in the? Is that map there, or is that the borderline here? All right, we did, maybe. Yeah, you can't go past there, I suppose. Oh, I'm hearing something running at me. Oh, it's a female red deer. Oh, there's a few of them, actually, at the back there. In the mist. And I got two there. Three. You're four. Go home and get your father. The eight mythical and uh oh well, you're a male over there all right oh no i would have shot you you're a six heart you're, where are you running oh the wind the wind has gone that way they're very sensitive to the wind them deers although you know six who cares we'll try for about another 10 minutes so i'm going to call the hunt and uh yeah have a rest and have a shower I might come back later and do a couple of hours of the um, GTA 4. So I'm sort of only playing that when I play it with you guys. That looks like a weird colour, doesn't it? Or is it just it's the, the light of the day here? Does that look grey? find out. I don't like being left wanting and not knowing. Let's find out. It looks like a weird colour but it could be the mist and the you know the stuff. This looks different to all the other ones. I don't know. You're normal. Are you black? 
Oh, you're a sickity female. I thought you were a freaking female red deer. Oh, okay. So you're probably just normal. I thought it was a red deer. I thought, oh, why is that red deer a weed color? <laughs> there you go. I stooge myself. Yeah, so I'm going to, have to put a few tents on this uh, map, guys. So we can uh, zip around a bit easier. I want a tent back here. That'd be nice. So how far is that? Oh, God. Maybe we can run here, open this outpost. Uh, look out, just so we can find another outpost. So we've got one on this side of the map. It's only 700 meters, so what? I could run that in 10 minutes in game, probably. In uh, real life, I'd uh, try and attempt to run it and have a heart attack a quarter of the way there. You'd have to call an ambulance. <laughs> Quick, you that heart attack! <laughs> There's a male sticker to you. Uh, wrong caller. That's pretty good, this forest, isn't it? Well, there seems to be so many animals around it. What did Ranger think of it? Did he like it? I'm sure he likes this map. Ah, very nice. Right? I've been streaming for over four hours. It's just gone so fast. On this map, there's always something to do. I was hoping this map would uh, keep you busy. Like some people say, oh, there's too many animals and stuff, but I like a busy map. I don't want to be standing around waiting for crap to happen. So I enjoy a busy map. Yeah, no complaints here about that. <laughs> uh, something just ran, I think. I just saw something in the background. Uh, let's run to this uh, thing. Oh, there they go. They're running, see? I don't know if they were sick of deer or red deer. They obviously heard me. Before I even started to run. Yeah, they just went off that way, I think. They've gone over at sort of this ridge. Is this a road here? What is this? Uh, yep. There. There. Oh, look at that one. Oh, look at that one. A five medium man. You're bloody joking, mate. Hey? <laughs> You're joking. Come back here, you five medium. They're on the way where I'm going. You crazy kitchell. Where are you going, mate? Come back. I love you. I love shooting you. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this uh, caller can halt them and make them come back. You can see where they've walked, right there. They're all in a bloody line. Can we make them stop? Look at the wind. It's so crap now. It's either blowing... Right up my back or across my body. Towards my back. We have a zone here we're going to pick up. What is ahead of us? Is there a lake or anything? Are they running somewhere? There is a, like a, I don't know, a coastline. That five medium, but that there's no guarantee that's a diamond. That's just a, you know, it could be a troll, it could be just a big fat, freaking um, gold. So no guarantee that that'd be anything but a gold at at this point. Oh, they they have stopped, man. They have stopped. Well, he has. Where's dad, mate? Where's your dad that was with you? No, 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 no. Do not walk off. Stop. 
See how the wind is really bad. It sucks, actually. Come on, buddy. Stay there. If your friends... If you stop, your friends might stop. But you're a real tiny bugger. Where's the big one? What's that? Pigs. Look, pigs. There's pigs there. Oh, man, this forest is crazy. The animals, when you stop and just look around, the animals you see... I can't see the one I want to see, though. Where is my five medium cicadea? Let's move up slowly here. I'll get that. Hello, pig. Do not attack me. I am hunting. And for once, I'm not hunting you, so... Go away. There's two of them now, look. All three, the one at the back. Four, and another one. You look like a big fatty. Oh, there's cicadee right in the middle of the pigs. How big the pigs look to that little cicadee. It looks like they could kill it. Oh, man, I'm surrounded by pigs. I end up getting pummeled here. There they are, look, 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 look. That big fatty. That's only one true. It looks fat as. I want that five medium to come back. I do. Even though there's wind, there's mist too. So the wind can't be that strong, right? I see a cicadee there. That's a pig. Oh, there, there he is, a little one. I reckon his big friends aren't coming back. So many pigs. There's another one. They're alert. That sounds like it's going to attack. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> oh, I'll take the pig. Oh, and that five's coming back. Hear their little feet running. Hello, Spotty. What is going on, mate? You are dead. And I got me some bacon. Still no male pigs, man. They're all females, the ones I've shot. I don't know anything wrong with that. It's just, I want to get a male to see how big the tusks are. Stop running. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a little clearing there. Look at that. It's quite nice. We'll get down here, we'll see where the next uh, outpost is. We'll unlock that uh, to get ready for the next hunt. So we've got something on this side. And there it is. There she blows. Let's go over. Oh man, they're pigs. When you hear that sound, it reminds me of when the savannah and the wild boars just before they attack you. Next minute, five wild boars run into you and you go flying. <laughs> Last time there, they killed Skippy about four times in a row. God, it was funny. Uh, so is this the coastline here? It looks like it is. So I found the beach. Oh, in uh, New Zealand, they say the bitch. Um, I went down the beach today. I need some fish and chops. That's not bad. Pretty coastline. Never know what you're going to find. So I'll open this up. Oh, look, rabbits. There's one there. Hello, little bunny rabbit. What are you doing, mate? Why are you standing out there like a crazy rabbit, mate? Someone could shoot you, you know? Well, there's a couple of, there's about three of you bloody rabbits out there. Four of you freaking rabbits, my friends. 
everywhere. I got a scope for this gun. Uh, Saints. Goswalk, that fits on these things, don't it? What does, what does this gun get to, mate? 75? Uh, now I won't see them. You watch. <laughs> I'll pull out this. I won't see the bunnies. Let's go up this way. That'll be too far for the shotgun at that, that bit. Right. Now we're getting closer. The shotgun comes back into play. They've probably run back in their bloody holes now. That's good. Every time I've seen rabbits holes today, we've seen rabbits. So, good. That's a good thing. That's what you want to see. There we go. Do we get any of them? Or we just cut the grass? Come on, rabbits. I think we just cut the grass, mate. Oh, damn. How'd I miss that? Well, they were rabbits there, right? Well, I'm not looking at flies. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well. Here we go. Let's check out this lighthouse and see where our outpost is. And uh, I call it a lighthouse, not really a lighthouse. It looks like a light. This is a lighthouse. This is a lighthouse. This is like a freaking lighthouse. Uh, but maybe this is a lookout as well. And it doubles as a lighthouse. I don't know. Oh, can we turn the light on? That'd be awesome. We'd use it as a big spotty and blind the rabbits. <laughs> All right, let me in. Let me in. All right, this has got to be a, an outpost. Lookout, whatever you call them. Okay, got my uh, James Bond little pistol. Golden eye. You're all dead, sir. Uh, obviously, we can't turn on a light. It's, uh, it's probably up there somewhere. Uh, door opens in. That is such a pain. Who, who designed that? Look at that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the light's above us, so that won't be happening. That is really nice, though, isn't it? All right, where's that outpost then? All right, thank you. Oh, my God, we've got one here and one here. The Kawasaki Hut. <laughs> That's what it looks like it says. I said, might go to Kawasaki Hut. Place a waypoint. How far are you? God, I just ran past there. Where are there rabbit holes now? Just down there, look. Hello, bunnies. I think we'd be able to shoot that far anyway, but... Let's have a look here while we're here. We have the ocean. That looks pretty cool. And right along the coast. So you get animals along the coast here. You get something poking their heads in and out, going for a drink. Oh, that wouldn't be drinking salt water, but, <laughs> you know, that'd be a feeding zone or something down here. And you got, like, a, oh yeah, an inlet here. It doesn't go very far, just to there. So it's not really an inlet. We've got another tower. Uh, we'll run to this uh, outpost. I'm going to open it up. So let's get back in here. It is not a bad map, I've got to say. It's been a pretty cool hunt. And it's good to have a new map in game. Like, you do get a bit bored of the maps you already have. Hey, what am I going to hunt today? I've hunted Erefin. I've shot them to death. Now I'm bored a bit. You know, so now we've got some a new place to come. And, uh, yeah, explore and, you know, 
look around, find the new animals and hunt them. And the rabbits seem a bit more lively today, which is very nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. I nearly, <laughs> nearly went off there. I think I would have died. Oh, you got to watch where you run. Even in games. So, what do, you, what do you guys think of this map? Can't wait for this to drop on console. That's fair enough, man. And it's a great map. But the gutter that there is no... Uh, that's a... That's a... Hey, Murray, how you going, man? Yeah, I know. I nearly did fall. So, as I don't watch where I'm running. Yeah, that's a ha. Is it my saying that right there? Like a hairy type of deer? I think they said they can't do long hair in this game at the moment for some reason like i don't know like the engine won't uh do long hair good and they've got to work on the code of the engine or something so you know i don't know but maybe when they uh figure out how to do that maybe then they'll uh, be able to put that animal in so that could be what's stopping them like uh, i think they're a long haired deer thing are they yeah, they'll add them eventually, yeah. So, I think at the moment, the engine can't handle the the long hair type animals. Or they don't come out properly or, you know, something something's wrong. So, yeah, they're going to have to work on that. And then, uh, yeah, once they, once they get that happening, man, it'll be awesome. I don't know what they are. I'll have to look them up on the internet. I'll have to Google it and see what they look like. I have heard of them. I just, I really have no idea what they look like. Man, it goes, it goes so fast here at the time. What are you? Are you a seeker? Uh, I'm going to have a look because we did see a five medium uh, walk off a little bit earlier. Now, I'm not saying it was going to be a diamond. No, I mean, it was just a big fat gold, the way my life goes. There's usually only one way to find out and that shoot it, but this probably won't be it, but we'll, we'll double check. You never know. Yeah, so it's the main on the Taha, Murray. Yeah, it's something like that. They they said they're going to have trouble with uh, doing it in the engine. That's right, a main. Well, how did they do the lions? Lions have a main, and we got them on the Savannah. So it must be a really bloody long main then. Must be super long. And when you think of it, we have lions in the game and the males have a mane. I don't know. I'm, uh, you know, just taking a punt. But that's what they said about the engine couldn't handle the long hair. All right, make another noise there, you sick of deer. I'm just glad we found every animal on the map and was able to hunt them. And like I said, like uh, we've streamed over four hours and it feels like I've been streaming for an hour and a bit. It's gone so fast. So the map keeps you busy. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of animals popping in and out. Yeah, it's been a really good hunt. I, I would have made thousands of dollars. So Not that, that you know, I got three million, so... The, uh, money is not an object for me in the game. It's just uh, you know, having a good hunt. What are you? You're probably a pig, right? Yep. Plenty of pigs around here in this forest. Jesus. A lot of spotted pigs. No, Not many males, though. Every pig I think i got has been a female. So I haven't seen the big tusks yet on the males. Uh, I'm hearing feet. Oh, here we go. I just want to look at it. It's probably a small one. Yeah, it's not our five medium, that's for sure. But they do like the deer grunt. They really come to it really well, which is which is fine. That's really good. The, it's, he sneaked up. Apart from the first sound that it made, didn't make another sound. This is going to be a bronze or silver. Uh, it's only a small male, free, easy. I do like the spotted. There's a spotted and the black. And they both look pretty cool. 
1091. So we'll keep heading for this uh, Kawasaki hut, and I'm calling it. I don't know how to say it properly. Man, look at all the... These are probably pigs. Yep, black spots, black spots. There was so many pigs. There's a sick of deer coming through here. It was crazy. Look at it. Hey, man. It's like snow on the ground. There's that many footprints. That's crazy. You want a, a spotted sick of deer diamond? That'd be very nice. Oh, I've kept one animal today, and that was a really big, fat, gold, brown, feral goat. The handlebars on it look like a, you know, a motorbike out of Easy Rider handlebars. They were awesome, mate. <laughs> so I kept that one because it was, it was, you know, only seven points off being a diamond. It'll probably be the biggest feral goat I get for a while. So I thought I'd keep it and put it on its head on a plaque in one of my uh, lodges because they look good like that when you put the head up on a plaque. <coughs> And they got the big horns. Man, the echo is unbelievable with the red deer core and the pig core in this forest. Of course, this little thing doesn't echo, it's not loud enough. You've been playing, enjoying the 303. Take up. Yeah, 303 is not a bad gun. It has a a really different sound to all the other uh, guns in the game, really. It's a bit of a blunt sound when it shoots. I am glad it does sound different than any other gun, though. It seems all right on the, on the right-sized animals. Like, uh, I've killed pigs and sick of deer with it today. So they're quite fine shooting them. At first, I used it on the feral goats by accident. Then realised that you know, when I picked up my first feral goat that I shot with it that I couldn't use it on it because the goats were class 3. So the Mosin earlier today got a hell of a workout. I went and bought more bullets so I was, only, I was down to 33 bullets. But since then I haven't really used it. I've been using this because we've come across all the level 4 type animals. Or the class 4. We've got more pigs in here. You hear their little feet when they run through the forest. It's quite uh, amusing. Mate, that echoes. It's, I don't know if that was given the warning call. I should have checked. It wants to make love. Where are you, pig? I have a 303 for you, buddy. And they're usually in a little uh, herd, aren't they, the pigs? They're, I haven't seen them by themselves yet. There was like five of them. Four or five, maybe six. Alright, don't make a noise and then do nothing. We've got the lake right there, or the coastline. What is that? Oh, that's the lake. I was, there was the lake I was here earlier, shooting the sick of deer and red deer. The lakes aren't bad round here. So oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. There's another piggy. May have been by himself, actually. Or she. It's probably a she. I haven't got a male pig yet. Let's see. This is your tusk. You got tusk on your boy? Are you a boy? See that weed's in the way. Oh, all right, we've got a male. And the tusks aren't that big either. They're very small. It's only a silver. 9.75. Oh, man, we're not going to get ticks. Oh, yeah, middle neck. He's a vital organ. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I keep hearing goats or something. I can't see them. I, I just think it's a noise in the game. Sounds like you're surrounded by feral goats. Yeah, I know mine is 303. It's a pretty cool gun. You've been wanting to call a while for a while. You know, I'm glad they bought one in. They, you know, 
like a lot of Australians and New Zealanders will know that the 303 has got a big history with our armies, you know, from World War One. So it's a nice gun to bring in. And they would have used them after World War One. They would have had a surplus of 303s and ammo. And uh, yeah, the hunters and farmers would have picked up the 303 and it would have been their working gun, really, around the farm and when you're having a hunt. Yeah, many a kangaroo would have been shot for 303, don't you worry. And here we are. When I first found the first outpost, it was the double one. You had to do the mission. The woman was talking ahead off at me. So I went in, I looked around, I saw the big statue of the Mari, I shot it, checked out the kitchen and all that. Then I went to the gun locker straight away, which is, what, around here? And I went like this. I went, oh, look, my gun locker's broken. And I started to walk away, and the guy goes, you didn't unlock your um, outpost. I went, oh, damn, I didn't, did I? So I thought it was broken. <laughs> Ah, oh, it just shows how dumb you can be sometimes. But that lady was talking her head off at me, and I'm listening to what she was saying, and I forgot to go to the flagpole and un unlock it. I was complaining that the the cupboard wouldn't open, and I couldn't get the 303 or to swap guns out or callers. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, someone's home. The boots are here. They're not bad, though. The double ones are pretty good, too. They're pretty good size, aren't they? They're pretty big. The beds look pretty cool. And you have your posters, the Alpine Ops, Specialist in Venison and, re and Retrieval and Processing. Uh, that's a really faded poster, that one. And you have Sitka Deer here. And on the other one, I went, oh, yeah, and then you got, oh, no, that's a window. I thought it was a picture at first. And there's a picture of the hills. That's pretty cool. I actually like this map. Um, I've enjoyed this hunt. But I'm going to have to love his and leave his now, guys. I've got a few things to do. I want to go have a shower. And I'll have a relax for an hour or so. And I might be back. I don't know. What is the time if I check my phone? The time is... Um, oh, it's not super late. But the time I have a shower and stuff. So, yeah. I will be back um, maybe later with uh, a bit of GTA 4. Because I'm enjoying that. I'm back in the And that game... You know, came to me in a really tough time in my life, like in 2008, and I needed this distraction, and this game gave it to me. And I haven't played it since them uh, days, and it's a really nice thing to, to get into and just, you know, sink your teeth into and enjoy something that you haven't done for a while. See, I'm quite happy to... Um, I'm glad that, that um, I, I bought that game again, and, and you know, we, I'm going to do the whole game hopefully on this channel but i'll do like one a week or something and uh i think it'll it'll turn out really well i think it'll be something really nice for the channel and something different which we always need sometimes we all need something different so i appreciate you all you jumping in today and seeing me in my first time here on this map and i uh, hope you enjoyed the the hunt and like i said I'll, I'll probably be back a bit later on uh tonight with uh gta 4 if not i will be back over the weekend because uh why not? What else are we going to do? And I'll catch you all then. Uh, thanks for dropping by. And uh, yeah, I'm going to catch you all on the next one.